how deep you would dig if you could bury me I'd claw my way back through hell to bring you to your knees I wanna see your face as you watch the world fall apart at the seams You get what you came for Gentlemen, welcome to the Payback Pay-Per-View. My name is Brendan Blaze, and tonight, our superstars from Raw and SmackDown will be looking for their revenge from WrestleMania, as this is the first pay-per-view in season number four of Universe Mode. It is time for Payback. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to watch a specific match on tonight's show, head over to the description down below, and you can click on the timestamp, and it'll take you to whichever match you are looking forward to seeing first. But first up, ladies and gentlemen, here on tonight's Payback Show, we had this matchup between Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn, a battle to determine who will be taking on the WWE Champion in the future. So here we go, Zayn and Reigns. We saw this match... A couple of weeks ago over on SmackDown when Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns both made their first appearance on SmackDown. It was a chance to really, I guess, turn things around for their careers. Both men had been pretty lackluster on Raw. It was a chance to step up and show the world that they can be main event stars on SmackDown. So they had their chance. They met one-on-one -on -one, and it turned out to be Roman Reigns getting the victory and becoming the number one contender for the championship. We all know how that went down. Sami Zayn interrupting that matchup, costing Reigns the WWE Championship. Now, our SmackDown GM Edge has decided, let's settle the score. Let's get this over and done with. Let's find out who is the true number one contender. Zayn believes he needs another chance. If he gets another chance, he will get the win. We'll find out. His opponent, a man who's not exactly well liked around here at all. It's Roman Reigns. One of the newcomers here to SmackDown, already making a big impact in a short period of time. We saw him, well, he got beat up by Brock Lesnar on the recent episode of SmackDown after he tried to come out and take advantage of a beat up Sami Zayn. Reigns hit the spear on Sami Zayn, but Brock Lesnar took him apart. So Reigns, you have to wonder what condition he is in coming into this pay-per-view. Likewise with Sami Zayn, but hopes both men not coming into this matchup. 100%. However, there is no excuses tonight. This is their one chance to get themselves a shot at the WWE Championship in the near future. It could be at our next pay-per-view, which of course will be Extreme Rules. That'll be the next time we come to you on pay-per-view here on Brennan Plays. So here we go. Roman Reigns versus Sami Zayn. Two SmackDown competitors battling it out here tonight at Payback to start the show off. Of course, later on tonight, there will be two world title matches, including the big one. WWE Championship will be on the line. Finn Balor defends his championship against the beast, Brock Lesnar, who is pissed off and wants his championship back. He doesn't care which title it is. He just wants a world title around his way. So Finn Balor, watch out. Tonight could be a very long and rough night indeed for the Demon. Reigns at the moment as we get this one underway. Hits a Samoan drop early on on Sami Zayn. And that could put a bit of pressure on Zayn. Not the start that he would have been looking for. 
of course, as well as that WWE Championship match. The Universal Championship will be on the line for the first time here in Universe Mode. We see that incarnation of a World Championship on the line, of course, taking on the lineage of the World Heavyweight Championship. The Universal Championship will be on the line as Kevin Owens, the champion, defends against well, three of the absolute best on Raw. Owens, first time he's been on Raw, and he has to defend against three of the best straight away. It will be Owens versus Styles versus Ziggler versus Seth Rollins. And that will be a match for the ages. That takes place later on tonight as well. Zay, look out. Hang on. Gets through. Oh, I just thought if he had a held on to that. He might have been able to get the shoulders down for a quick three count. And surprise Roman Reigns. But Zayn couldn't do so. As now it continues the offense on Reigns. Of course, Roman Reigns. I would say comfortably defeated Sami Zayn in their first encounter. I mean... It wasn't the most impressive performance by Sami Zayn. Reigns just was the better man on that night. But Sami Zayn, we saw him against Brock Lesnar on the recent episode of SmackDown, and he gave it his absolute all. He gave Brock Lesnar a hell of a match. He tested Lesnar to his absolute limits. So Sami Zayn showing us that he has improved, he's ready, and he knows that he has to give it his all. If he does not win here tonight, his chances of becoming a world champion here on SmackDown could be very few and far between because, well, if Sami Zayn loses, you know, you see the likes of Randy Orton, Dean Ambrose, Triple H. These guys could come through straight away and overtake Sami Zayn. And, of course, I'm not even mentioning the guys like Braun Strowman, Bray Wyatt, Cesaro. There's many, many guys that are all wanting that prize. And if Sami Zayn's not careful, a loss here tonight could put him right in behind all of those superstars we just mentioned. Reigns now with a stomp there to Sami Zayn. As now Reigns taken off his feet outside of the ring. Well, we'll see plenty of outside action later on tonight when John Cena and Goldberg go one-on-one -on -one in a street fight match. That will be a match you do not want to miss. Most super superstars will go to the streets if they have to to settle their score and to finally decide Who's the better man between the two? Of course, the winner of that match will also become the number one contender for the Universal Championship. So, big implications on the line in that match as well. Very similar to this one. Reigns set into the corner there by Sami Zayn with the Irish whip. Up top now. Sami Zayn, can he take advantage here? Might be looking for a superplex. What Zane got planned here? He's going to go for it. Reigns in trouble. Sami Zayn's got him up high. Oh! Just drives their head straight into the turnbuckle. We weren't expecting that. Now Zayn thinks he may have Reigns, but he can't get him. Only a count of two. Sami Zayn looking the goods early on. It's now his springboard. Oh, he didn't quite get it all. Went for the moonsault. He caught enough of Reigns to keep him down, but it wasn't a clean landing. Reigns, though, up to his feet straight away. and Picks Zayn up and slams him straight back down, but Zayn quickly kicking out. Bit of a statement there by Sami Zayn. A quick kick out, just saying to Reigns that you're nowhere near beating me. And that can be something that can give Sami Zayn a lot of confidence and put more pressure on Reigns. Or perhaps Roman Reigns will use that as a sign of, well, hey, I better do some more work here. I better beat Sami Zayn up a little bit more. Zayn now, a standing drop kick, takes down Roman Reigns. So we've talked about, the, I guess, the decline of Roman Reigns' singles career for the past year. The Zayn can only get a one count. Roman Reigns, the most successful tag team superstar in Universe Mode history. But let's not forget his accomplishments as a singles. A former WWE Champion, albeit only for one month, but he did head into WrestleMania. Season 2, WrestleMania as the champion. And he did not walk out as champion, of course, but Reigns has been to the big time as Zayn jumped up to the top of the rope and connected with that cross body, landing on Roman Reigns. Reigns now on the back foot again, but immediately back to his feet and able to shrug off the offense of Sami Zayn. Reigns now over the top of the rope, hanging on though. Here comes Sami Zayn, drives the shoulder into Reigns, and Reigns meets the ringside barricade. Zayn now, oh, he's not done yet. I thought he was going to fly. He might still fly. No, decided against it. Reigns not quite in position. Zayn willing to risk it all here tonight for this victory. He knows how important this victory is. Reigns takes Zayn off his feet again, though. 
Well, we've talked about the upcoming contracts now being enforced. We all know that Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns both received massive contracts. Despite their value not really being all that high, they were paid extra on the basis that they will become future stars. So there's a lot of pressure on these two to become that. And Zayn now with the Blue Thunder Bomb still has the legs hooked. Could be in here for Reigns. And oh, a kick out at two. So just to finish that point off, these two men have all the pressure in the world. SmackDown GM Edge believes that these two guys will be the future of SmackDown. And he's given them the contracts to represent that. Now Sami Zayn looking to put Reigns away. Sami Zayn now with the legs wrapped around Roman Reigns. Reigns is close to the ropes though. Can he get there? Or will Sami Zayn make him tap? Zayn with the reverse STO into the Koji clutch. Reigns, oh, a big elbow right there to Sami Zayn. Breaks the hold and stays in the match. Well, Reigns does not tap out very often. So, no, oh, Reigns this time went for the Superman punch. Sami Zayn countering though, swatted it away. Well, Reigns does not tap out much. So, Sami Zayn making a big risk trying to make Roman Reigns tap. Did not quite work, but geez, he was close. A lot of pressure on Roman Reigns right there as Zayn now into the cover, hooking that leg. Can Sami Zayn book his ticket to become the number one contender? Not yet. The winner of this match will go on to take on the winner of Finn Balor and Brock Lesnar down the line for that championship that they have been fighting for. Sami Zayn never be, has never been a world champion here at Universe Mode. Reigns, only a one-time champ. And it's been, well, a long time for Roman Reigns. Over a year now since he's been the champion of the world. Now Sami Zayn going to get Reigns up, going for a suplex. And just caught a little bit of Roman Reigns' head, spiked into the mat first. So not quite a full-on brain buster, but it's pretty close. Zayn now gets the ropes. Oh, standing drop kick, and again. Zayn is firing up. Now into the swinging neck breaker. Roman Reigns in big trouble here. Sami Zayn feels as though he's getting close to putting this one away. And uh-oh, Reigns in the corner. That's not where you want to be for Sami Zayn. Oh, Superman punch. And that's the move that Reigns needed to get himself back into this into this contest. Now, lining up Sami Zayn. He's in the corner. You know what's coming next. Roman Reigns wants that spear, but Zayn not getting in position. Good ring awareness by Sami Zayn. He knew that Reigns might have been going for that spear. Couldn't quite see Reigns, but he knew he had to get close to the ropes and get away from Roman Reigns. As now, he has Reigns back to his feet. Reigns sent in the corner. Reigns with an elbow. Now picks up Sami Zayn, but a counter there by Zayn. And oh, went for the jumping in Zaguri. Reigns though, able to avoid Reigns. Going for a belly to belly. Zayn countering back. It's back and forth between these two. Pivotal point in this matchup. Really, the next move could win. The next big one might be the job. Done as Reigns picks up Zayn, slams him straight back down. He's close to the ropes, but his hands not underneath it. But he's still able to kick out anyways. Reigns now knows this is the time to finish Zayn off. Here comes the spear. Reigns will finish it. No, wait a second. Sami Zayn countered. Zayn countering. Counters the spear and perhaps saves the day for himself. Reigns now in the corner. Sami Zayn with the exploder suplex into the corner. Sami Zayn, is he going to do it? Is he finally going to win the big one? After years of trying to become a number one contender for the world title, he's missed out. Sami Zayn has been fighting for his chance. Is this the moment we see Zayn pick up the big win he's been after? Now Zayn going for the Koji Clutch again. Now Reigns is locked in. Nowhere to go. And Reigns has tapped out. Sami Zayn has done it. The biggest win in Sami Zayn's Universe Mode career. Sami Zayn knocks off. The big dog at payback and has now become the new number one contender for the WWE Championship right here on SmackDown. Well, the big money contract 
it could be about to be paying off because Sami Zayn is earning every cent right now. He stepped up. He came close to beating Lesnar. But tonight, it was his true breakout performance, defeating Roman Reigns. And now Zayn has arrived. We were unsure how Zayn would go on SmackDown. Would it be the time that he would finally step up and break free? Well, it looks to be the case. Making Reigns lose, not just lose, but tap out. Well, we had that clutch in earlier on in the match for a long, long time. Reigns just couldn't go through it again. The same pressure in the same spot. Too much for Reigns to handle. And Sami Zayn gets the win tonight. We said it's the biggest win of his career. Well, that is for sure. He's failed to win a lot of big matches, but tonight he gets the win he's been searching for for a number of years now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are here and backstage, Jericho and Atami. We know these two have been fighting it out the last few weeks and oh, Jericho with the right hand. Looks as though we're going to get it on again. This time it's backstage here at Payback. They're near... The entrance area, as uh, they are near the gorilla position now, and they are fighting it away. A bit of a backstage brawl going on between Atami and Jericho. Not scheduled for a match here tonight. Well, looks as though they're going to force one here. It's not a match, though. It is a fight. Jericho and Atami, the last few weeks on SmackDown, every time we get close to finally seeing these two lock up again, it just turns into a fight and a no contest. Happened on the recent episode of SmackDown. As now Atami with a drop kick to Jericho. Jericho's in a bad way. Atami now has a garbage can and nails Jericho right in the head. Atami looking at that table as Jericho launched into that monitor. Atami, what is he thinking now? Looking to put Jericho away. Atami with a suplex through the table. Jericho laid out. And Atami once again gets one up on Jericho as this rivalry continues. Well, speaking of rivalries continuing tonight, it is the final battle between Charlotte and Nia Jax. It is for the WWE Women's Championship. Let's take you back to WrestleMania. Nia Jax drops the leg. She's about to win the Women's Championship until Ric Flair gets himself involved, screwing over Nia Jax. Jax would go on to tap out later onto the figure eight as Charlotte would defend her championship. But then it would be the rematch at TakeOver. TakeOver number four, Nia Jax winning back her NXT Women's Championship tonight. She looks to win the Women's Championship here of the WWE. She's got one of the prizes she wants again. This time, she wants the big one. It's her last chance. It's Jax versus Charlotte for the final time, and it will be no holds barred. Ric Flair, of course, not here tonight, so we'll have a fair opportunity to see who is the better between the two. Is it the current Women's Champion, Charlotte, who is the top woman in the division right now, or is it the future of the women's division in Nia Jax? She has the NXT Women's Championship around her waist. Who is the better champion tonight? We find out. WrestleMania, both titles are on the line. Charlotte controversially winning the NXT Women's Championship, but losing it quickly at TakeOver, only holding it for a couple weeks before Nia Jax would get it back. Well, can Nia Jax get what she wants? And that is the WWE women's championships. She's got what, half of the things she wants. She's got one more to get. Tonight is her chance to become the women's champion for the first time in her career. Her opponent is without a doubt the best woman in the division. It is Charlotte. Well, she's had a dominant rise to the top the last six or so months. Ever since debuting on the main roster, she has been impressive. Took her a while to get to that championship, and when she got there, she made sure she got that win, and she has not looked like losing it ever since. But a loss to Nia Jax at TakeOver 4, the return at NXT, could definitely mean that the confidence may be in the favor of Nia Jax. The favorite to win this one could be Nia Jax, because a fair one-on-one -on -one match, no Ric Flair, no excuses, Nia Jax got that victory. So in my opinion right now, the pressure is on Charlotte to deliver. That is the prize on the line. It is the Women's Championship of the WWE. It is 
the richest prize in the women's division. Charlotte is the champ. She was the NXT Women's Champion a couple weeks ago, going back to NXT for a short period of time. It was never her intentions to be the NXT Women's Champion, but it just happened to come along when the titles were both on the line. But she couldn't hold on to it for long as Nia Jax, back in her home turf, was able to get the win. But this time, arguably, this is Charlotte's home turf. So will that advantage come into play? We thought at WrestleMania, perhaps Nia Jax was full of nerves and her first big match was at WrestleMania. It's hard to kind of prepare for that opportunity, prepare for that moment. You compete for the Women's Championship at the biggest stage of them all. It can be difficult. Not as many people here for payback tonight. Will that help Nia Jax? Will she be able to overcome that pressure? Charlotte immediately getting rid of that turnbuckle pad. It is a no-holds-barred match, so that is definitely allowed and absolutely illegal as Charlotte locks, launches Nia Jax and knocks her off her feet, but Jax does the same this time with a leg sweep and Charlotte is off her feet, but Charlotte back at it. Well, Charlotte is probably the one woman, in my opinion, that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nia Jax. Nia Jax obviously has the size and weight advantage, but Charlotte, a very tall individual, very athletic herself, so she can definitely overcome that as she drops the knee. And that is Vintage Flair right there from Charlotte, dropping that knee as uh, she drops it again this time. As uh, Charlotte immediately outside the ring, going to introduce a weapon. She's got that baseball bat. Oh, she l just lays into Nia Jax in the back, now in the stomach. So we knew that this was going to get a bit hardcore tonight. We knew the weapons were going to come out, and it didn't take long. No holds barred. It's a time, it's a chance for these women to put it all in the ring. Just beat the hell out of each other and settle this once and for all. Nia Jax, she is looking for payback tonight. She can't believe she was robbed at WrestleMania. She felt as though she had the win. Ric Flair costing her the victory. Now is her chance to finally get the championship that she feels as though she earned. She won. She deserves. But it never went into fruition. Instead, she had to win back her NXT Women's Championship. She's done that now. Now she needs to add the Women's Championship. And she hits a power bomb there. Jack's taking a quick breather. She's in control at the moment. Charlotte's got to get back to her feet and get herself going again. As now, there's the power of Jackson. Oh, I think Charlotte might have caught a bit of that baseball bat on the way down. That's not going to help her cause whatsoever as the elbow is dropped there on Charlotte as Nia Jax continues the offense. Nia Jax, you can find that leg drop. It's going to be all over. We know that. All that big spine buster. Either or, she can use it to full effect to defeat her opponent tonight. What a win it would be. She would catapult herself right to the top of the women's division and have a huge target on her back, though. Not only in NXT, as we saw on NXT TakeOver, you know, we saw Nia Jax having to deal with the likes of Asuka now, and she's got... Carmella down there trying to step up. There's other women there all trying to get that NXT Women's Championship. So she's already got a number of women coming after her. If she wins the women's title here on the main roster, she's going to have Charlotte, Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, you name it. All these other women also coming for her as well as she drops the elbow. But Charlotte getting out of harm's way. So Nia Jax could be the most wanted woman in the entire WWE. That is something that I don't think will bother Nia Jax too much. I think she will relish and all the competitors coming to take her title for her, attempting to come and take her title from her, because she just enjoys beating people up. Plain and simple as now, Charlotte, oh! Manages to get Nia Jax off her feet again. Now wrapping the legs around Nia Jax, trying to get the submission here. She managed to make Nia Jax tap at WrestleMania. Can she find a way to make her tap again here tonight at Payback? What a win this would be for Charlotte. Hanging on to that women's championship, perhaps solidifying herself as one of the great women's champions here in Universe Mo. We've seen the women's championship, for the most part, in a bit of hot potato. You know, everyone's getting an opportunity to be the women's championship champion at some point. You know, the title reigns haven't lasted long. But the last year of Universe Mo, we've started to see the likes of Paige. And now Charlotte hang on to that championship for a long period of time. And really give that championship a hell of a lot more credibility than we've seen in the past. Nia Jax with an elbow to Charlotte. Now Jax, oh, tried to pick her up. Charlotte with a counter. Oh, went for the spear again. But Nia Jax, she was ready for it. And she pushed her out of harm's way. Nia Jax able to hang on. 
And that's the thing about Nia Jax, she has to be careful. That spear can come at any time, and if she gets hit with that spear, it could be all over just like that. She's been able to counter it a couple times now, which is, I guess, a testament to Nia Jax's preparation to this match, and knowing when that spear is going to come, as now Jax, back body drop, down goes Charlotte. Charlotte in a bad way. Now Nia Jax has her up, and look out, Spy Buster! That could be it. It's done the trick in the past, but she just can't get to the cover. She used all of her energy that she had left for that spine buster, and now Charlotte's been able to slowly roll out of the way, but Jax is trying to keep her in position. Now Nia, here comes the strength of Jax, up and down for the powerbomb. Well, beautifully executed there by Nia Jax. As she tried to get Charlotte back up. Charlotte with the counter though. Nia Jax, you can see her stamina is coming into play. It's been questioned quite a lot. How long can she go? A long match is going to be physically tolling on her because of her size. Well, it's coming into effect right now. The longer this match goes for, the harder it's going to be for Nia Jax to win. Nia Jax, I think, is sensing that. She realizes she's starting to run out of gas. She's going to have to try and put Charlotte away quick time. Otherwise, Charlotte will hang on to her championship tonight. Both heads colliding there is now, oh, Charlotte off her feet thanks to Nia Jax. And now Nia trying to sweep Charlotte off her feet and does so successfully. But she shrugs off Nia Jax there. And now Charlotte looking for some support from the fans to fire herself up here. Takes a chance to take a bit of a breather at the same time. But Nia Jax back, back to her feet and takes down Charlotte face first into the mat. And now rolls her over. Could be it here. Nia Jax to put her away. Can Jax win the title? No. Charlotte stays in this matchup. Nia Jax giving her all right now. But Charlotte's digging deep as well. Single leg takedown. And hang on a second. Went for the figure four into the figure eight. But... Nia Jax this time able to counter. If she gets it locked in, it's over. Jax knows that. And she had to get rid of that hold quickly and she was able to. But neither woman could just hold on to the advantage here. Everyone's counting each countering each other's moves. And just when one woman is starting to get on top, the other is able to hit back and keep this one a close contest. Now, oh, Charlotte. Putting more pressure on her legs does Nia Jax. And this could be a bit of a pre-match plan here by Nia. Trying to keep Charlotte grounded. Charlotte trying to fight back with some big shots. Using her legs. They look to be in decent condition still. Despite the offense. Now launching into the corner there. Jax in trouble. Charlotte starting to come back. That's Charlotte. Oh no. Gets the elbow. Still has control. Now has Nia up. Here's the power of Charlotte. Oh! Jax launched. Bounces off the mat. Face first. And could be in some trouble here. Now the spear. This time it connects. And Jax in trouble. We knew the longer this match went for, the harder it's going to be for Nia Jax. And after a lengthy match now, she wasn't able to find that counter like she was earlier on. And you can see that knee there just didn't have a lot of oomph into it. And she's just struggling a little bit there. Trying to get this crowd rolled up a little bit more. Trying to feed off that energy. Trying to get herself motivated again. Trying to find something. Because at the moment, she's just slowing down. It's going to cost her soon as she gets taken off her feet again. Spun off her feet, if you will. Now Charlotte... Wants to put Nia Jax away. Here's her chance. Natural selection could be coming. This is Charlotte's opportunity to beat Jax once and for all. Natural selection. Jax out cold. The cover. Charlotte does it. Charlotte has just defeated Nia Jax once and for all. And a three-match rivalry comes to an end. Charlotte, two wins. Nia Jax with the one. But at the end of the day, Charlotte still the women's champion of the WWE. More importantly, Nia Jax, well, you got to give her credit. She's still new. She's been able to dominate down in NXT. 
but she's still untested. We still haven't seen her defend her title all that often. And now she gets a chance to step up into the big time. She missed out at WrestleMania controversially, but tonight you can't deny that victory from Charlotte. She won fair and square. And Nia Jax will be back on this main roster at some point, but she'll head back to NXT and she'll keep on getting better and better, which is the frightening thing. She's only going to get better. And for the likes of Charlotte, that's going to be tough to deal, deal with. And hang on. Speaking of NXT, well, here is NXT's Alexa Bliss. We have heard that Alexa Bliss has been in discussions to come up here to the main roster. We didn't know it was going to happen this soon. But looks as though Alexa Bliss may have just signed herself a main roster contract and wants to meet the champion face to face. Well, Alexa Bliss here at Payback. She may not be that big, but she has a lot of fight in her and she is very tough to deal with. Well, here she is in the middle of this ring, eyeing off Charlotte. Are we about to see these two fight tonight? No, Charlotte backs down, but she meets a future opponent face to face here tonight at Payback. He is called the greatest man to ever live. His name is Austin Aries, and he was drafted to Raw at the season four draft, and he is coming to the red brand very soon. He has signed a big money deal to be on Raw and is touted to be a future star and perhaps even a future world champion. Austin Aries, the greatest man that has ever lived, is coming to Raw very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for another championship match here tonight at Payback. It is for the Intercontinental Championship and the former champion himself, the Swiss Superman Cesaro, approaching the ring. Well, Cesaro at WrestleMania defended his Intercontinental Championship against Samoa Joe and the eventual winner, Braun Strowman. At the end of the night, though, Cesaro did not walk out as champion, but he was not involved in the decision. Braun Strowman managed to make Samoa Joe tap out and went on to win the championship. Cesaro wants his title back, but I gotta say though, he's coming up against one of the biggest and baddest men you will ever meet here in the WWE. It is Braun Strowman. Well, this guy is about 6'10", 300 plus pounds. Well, closer to 400 pounds, really. He is an absolute monster. And he is a part of the Wyatt family, but as you see, once again, coming to the ring by himself. Well, we've got a bit of an update on this situation. We've been wondering, is there some dissension in the Wyatts? Is there some jealousy? And as far as we know, there isn't. But we've been told that Braun Strowman wants to be his own man. He wants to come to the ring and prove that he can get it done on his own. He doesn't want to have the Wyatts to help him, help him win. And we saw at WrestleMania when Harper, Rowan, and Bray Wyatt what came out after Braun Strowman defended, uh, sorry, won the championship against Cesaro and Joe. They came out to, to congratulate Braun Strowman, but Strowman wasn't having any of it. He was actually frustrated that the Wyatts came out to celebrate with him because it was his moment, he believed. He, you know, he thought, hey, I just won the championship. Let me celebrate. Let me have my moment. But that never got, you know, he never got to have that because of that interruption. So Braun Strowman's been just frustrated that he hasn't gotten the respect that he deserves. And maybe, maybe, I don't know what the future is for Braun Strowman. Maybe he believes that going by himself and still being a part of the Wyatt family, but coming out to the ring by himself is the best way to go about it. I'm not sure. All I know is Braun Strowman is the Intercontinental Champion tonight. He defends it against Cesaro. He's big, he's bad, he's tough. But Cesaro, I mean, if you're going to have someone who is not the size of Braun Strowman, who can match the power of Strowman, Cesaro might be the only man on this planet who can do that. Cesaro will be able to lift Strowman up, may even be able to swing Strowman around. That's how strong Cesaro is. He's freakishly strong, and he will prove to be a tough opponent tonight for Strowman. Strowman's first championship defense tonight. How will he fare? Cesaro and Strowman. Here we go. 
Can Cesaro get the win that he's been looking for? He had an impressive win over Kane a few weeks ago on SmackDown. Arguably the perfect opponent if you want to prepare for Strowman. He is definitely Kane. As now Cesaro straight away with a suplex on Strowman. We said it a moment ago. He's going to be able to pick up Strowman. And he just showed us that he can right there. An early suplex. And well, I guess the key to beating Braun Strowman, I think, is to start off really well. Just frustrate Strowman and surprise him. Get him off his feet early. Strowman tried to maybe pick up Cesaro for that choke slam. Cesaro with the counter. So if you're able to pick up Strowman early, able to throw him around throw him around the ring a little bit, that something that not many men are able to do, that's gonna, you know, upset the rhythm of Braun Strowman, upset his game plan, and put a lot of pressure on the body that generally does not, you know, get pressured that much. So Cesaro, if I'm Cesaro and you know, my, my plan is I've got to get you know Strowman off his feet. I've got to throw him around. I've got to hit him with these suplexes. I've got to find the neutralizer. As now Cesaro launched off the top right. We can see Cesaro quickly just straight away on the offense. Not letting up here. This is what he's got to do. He's just got to keep on fighting. Don't even let Strowman get in this match. Don't even let Strowman get any offense in at all. That's harder. You know, easier said than done. But there's another suplex this time. Suplexing back in the ring. So he's had a perfect start here so far, Cesaro. Exactly what you want to see from a former Intercontinental Champion. Cesaro, former Tag Team Champion, former US Champion, and former Intercontinental Champion. We wonder, when's the, when is it going to be time for Cesaro to win the World Championship? And we've seen the Intercontinental Championship used to, I guess, catapult superstars into the World Championship. Will Cesaro be the next case of that? But uh, arguably, Cesaro perhaps not having the long title reign that he would have been looking for. As he now gets struck, struck in the gut there by Strowman. Elbow there by Strowman. And again, this is now where it becomes tough for, for Cesaro. When Strowman starts to get the offense in, when Strowman starts to get the better of you, it's hard to come back from that because the power in each strike of Strowman is so, is so much more than you ever really experience. And Cesaro will be feeling that very soon. If he can't keep Strowman down, he's been... You know, had a great start, but Strowman just starting to get back into it. Cesaro's got to keep this pressure on. The longer this match goes, the better it will be for Cesaro. So Strowman's going to have to try and end this one early. Cesaro, if he can hang in there and wear the big man out and try and capitalize on a tiring, oh, nearly near seven footer. That's what Cesaro's going to try and do. He's now going for the second again. This time, Strowman up to his feet and avoids it. Strikes Cesaro. Now into the corner. Cesaro though, with an elbow. So this has been good from the Swiss Superman. We talked about it a moment ago, the accolades he's been able to accomplish. He's had a, a pretty good career here in Universe Mode without really, I mean, without really setting the world on fire. He's had a couple title reigns that haven't lasted as long as he would, would have liked. Pretty successful in the tag division, but we still kind of want to see more from Cesaro. We're still wondering if Cesaro's going to be able to take that next step despite proving on a couple of occasions that he is one of the best going around. And perhaps Cesaro is frustrated at himself that he's always trying to prove to everyone that he is good enough. Well, I guess in his own mind, he knows he's good enough. He's sick and tired of having to try and prove it. Now Cesaro trying to beat the big man, but he kicks out. Barely a two count, if it was at all. Ron Strowman is down. And this is the times where you probably want to see the White family get themselves involved when, if you're Braun Strowman. This is where the regret might be starting to sink in. When Cesaro's getting the better of you, it'd be just great to have a Eric Rowan or a Luke Harper to get on those ropes and distract Cesaro for a moment just to be able to catch his breath and reset himself and get himself back into it. Well, that'll help though. Launching Cesaro to the other side of the ring, that suplex. But Cesaro quickly kicks out at one. Strowman taking a breather now and just trying to well, intimidate his opponent. Will it work? Strowman has Cesaro now. And wow, look at the power of Strowman. And just presses Cesaro up and slams him down. And that is something that Cesaro cannot do to Braun Strowman. I can guarantee you that. And that is the difference between the two men. Strowman is an absolute giant. He's a monster. He's so powerful. And now there's that cutter and Cesaro could be out cold. Strowman has beaten many men with that. But looks as though he's not done with Cesaro yet. Now Cesaro picks up Strowman. Great power there by the Swiss Superman. 
Oh, there's a mistake there by Strowman. Perhaps a bit of a rookie error. We still haven't seen a lot of Strowman here. Still yet to really prove himself long term that he's good enough. What about these uppercuts here from Cesaro? How about the uppercut train? This is brilliant here from Cesaro. Going for it again. This is exactly what Cesaro needs. Drop kicks Strowman down. Can Strowman come back from that? Oh no. He's caught the leg and takes him down with a single leg takedown. Just when Cesaro is about to get himself going, Strowman shuts it down and outpowers Cesaro again. Braun Strowman, he's hanging on. We have to say that Strowman is still relatively a, a rookie. Most of the time he's been competing with the Wyatts. We haven't seen a hell of a lot of him as a singles, but what we have seen has been impressive. And when the pressure is on, how will he cope? The pressure is definitely on Strowman right now. He's all alone. Can he overcome it? Can he find a way to dig deep? This may help. He used this to choke out Samoa Joe at WrestleMania. And he's used it again to choke out Cesaro. Strowman defeats Cesaro at Payback. Well, that is the power of Braun Strowman. When he gets you in that hole, you just can't get out of it. Braun Strowman makes, a, makes Cesaro tap out. He had to submit tonight. But Cesaro, geez, he came close. He was good. But Braun Strowman, just that much better. And the freakish thing is, he's only just getting started. The size and the power of Braun Strowman, it's impossible to deal with. But when he starts to get things right, when he starts to learn how to beat his opponents and get smarter in the ring, that's when he's going to be dangerous. That's when he's going to be scary. And Cesaro had no choice. Passed out, out cold, and Strowman hangs on to the Intercontinental Championship here tonight. It's an impressive win by Braun Strowman. It's exactly what you want to see from this big man as he looks to step up and show us what he can do as a singles competitor. He's getting better and better every time we see him. Oh, hang on. Well, here is Bray Wyatt, his leader. Bray Wyatt coming out here to perhaps congratulate Braun Strowman again. Bray Wyatt and Strowman eye to eye, and Bray Wyatt celebrates with his man. And wait, whoa, whoa, wait a second. Strowman, what is he doing? Strowman, oh my god, he lays out Bray Wyatt. What the hell is Strowman doing? He just laid out his leader, his mentor in Bray Wyatt. Well, once again, Wyatt coming out here to upstage Strowman's moment. And perhaps Strowman is sick and tired of being Bray Wyatt's lackey. Now picks him up and hits the choke slam on Bray Wyatt. Strowman stepping up and tonight may be the night where Strowman breaks out as his own man. Strowman lays out the leader of the Wyatts and his future is unknown. Well earlier today we saw Shawn Michaels going to Edge's office perhaps pleading that he gets another contract here on Smackdown and we'll see that match later on tonight but first we have the United States Championship on the line. Perhaps two of the brightest stars on Raw going at it tonight. It is Shinsuke Nakamura versus Samoa Joe. Well, the unique thing about this match, ladies and gentlemen, is that we are looking at the future of the WWE in one match. The future of the company could be going through these two men, Samoa Joe and Shinsuke Nakamura. And it's plenty of excitement around this one tonight. The US Championship on the line. But it's really about who's the man to take the next step. Who's going to be that guy to now enter that main event scene? Many believe Samoa Joe can be the one to knock off the likes of a Kevin Owens or a Seth Rollins or an AJ Styles or a Ziggler. Any one of those four who wins that Fatal 4-Way tonight. Or, of course, Goldberg or Cena as well. They'll be involved in a big match as well. So, many believe... Samoa Joe is one of the very few in the world that can beat those type of guys. But you can argue the same thing for his opponent, the current United States Champion, Shinsuke 
Nakamura. That's why this match is so big. It's so important because the winner could very well go on to really accomplish amazing things. And to be honest, even the loser will go on to accomplish amazing things. So here comes the champion. It is Nakamura who's held that title for a long, long time. He's chasing down the longest reigning United States Championship record that Dolph Ziggler currently holds, which is in a very, very impressive nine months. Nakamura hunting it down. He's got a while to go yet, but a win here tonight will keep that title reign going and he'll be one step closer. But I guess, you know, we talked about it a moment ago, you know, going to the next level. I mean, if Nakamura is still the United States Champion, that could obviously hold him down a little bit. That could put that off for a while. You know, his chances to take that next step might be put on hold whilst he is that US Champion. Whereas Samoa Joe, if he doesn't win here tonight, you never know, he might get that opportunity a little quicker, even though Nakamura would have, got, would have gotten the victory. That's how things kind of go here. You know, if you are the US Champion, you know, you've got to defend your championship. You have to focus on the championship that you have rather than trying to win cha two championships at the same time. So, the winner of this one, whilst they will be the United States Champion and they can have that chance to really impress and continue their impressive start to their careers here in Universe Mode, they may not be able to move up to that main event scene for quite some time. And that's the thing that you have to kind of wonder. Is Nakamura thinking about this US Championship and trying to hunt down that record and become a US Champion and be one of the greats of Universe Mode, one of the great champions, or is he focused on perhaps, yes, being the US Champion, but trying to move up and challenge the likes of a Kevin Owens, or perhaps a Goldberg, if he can get that title down the line, or a John Cena, one of those types of guys. Is he focused on moving up and having those historic matches, or is he happy being one of the great US Champions? We'll have to wait and see what kind of mindset Nakamura comes into this matchup. Because it's a difficult one. You know, you want to move up. You want to be in the main event. But sometimes you got to take those opportunities if you get one to to, uh, to go up. And if you're the US champion, you may not get those opportunities. It's Samoa Joe with a strong start here. Joe yet to win a championship here in Universe Mode. He missed out at WrestleMania. Competed for the Intercontinental Championship. So I think Samoa Joe believes he needs to win a championship before he, he is ready to move up. And we know Joe is so talented. He's got the size about him as well. Whilst he's a bigger man, he's got some speed as well. He's got very some, some, some terrific power to his game. He's also got the technical ability. So really, he's a well, a well-rounded superstar. Nakamura, he's just got something special about him. We're not quite sure what it is, but he's different, but it works. So right there on your screen, right there, Dolph Ziggler's historic US Championship reign did end at last year's payback. So that's something to keep in mind. We may see ourselves a new champion here tonight if the trend continues to follow. Nakamura right now, those big right hands to Samoa Joe. Joe, you know, get Nakamura into the ropes. And here comes Joe as he takes down Nakamura. So we could be seeing one of the great matches here in Universe Mode tonight because two of the best competitors. And that's why Raw is currently, you know, considered to have the better roster because they have the two best up-and-coming talents on their show. Now, both main event divisions right now, I would say, are pretty equal. But obviously, maybe Raw edges out SmackDown a little bit with their future stars coming through. Shinsuke Nakamura, one of the favorites to win the Superstar of the Year, Superstar of the Year Award, Slammy Award, that'll be taking place after Payback. You'll see those Slammy Awards very, very soon. And the results, Nakamura, one of the favorites to win it and because he did have a special year. And he was around for, you know, about three quarters of the year, of the season, I should say, but uh, he made a huge impact when he did come in. Joe now with a DDT, spiking the head of Nakamura. And Joe spent the better part of last season in NXT without winning that NXT Championship. That would have frustrated Joe so much. So whilst he's had a lot of big matches, he has failed to win the championships and failed to win the big one when it counts. Will we see another instance of that here tonight with Samoa Joe? A big match he had at WrestleMania, he failed. He got, you know, he got submitted by Braun Strowman. Now it's a big match here at Payback for the US title. Will Joe be able to find a way to win? That is a bit of a burden right now on Samoa Joe. It could be a bit of a black mark next to his name. Can he win the big one? He's had a lot of chances, missed out a lot in NXT, but to be fair, he took on one of the absolute best we've seen here in Universe Spine and AJ Styles to try and win that title. 
So no real disgrace that he lost, but Samoa Joe will be looking for that big win. Nakamura though, he's looking for the big move. He's up top. He's coming. It all tried to just go for a bit of a fly kick through the air and connect there on the draw of Joe, but Samoa Joe able to swat it, swat it out of the way and move out of the way and continues to keep going in the offense now as he drops the elbow on Nakamura. Close battle between the two early on. Joe looking to slow it down a little bit. Just kind of strike those heavy elbows right into the head of Nakamura. And Joe may be signaling for something big here. Feels as though this is a chance for him, but he gets met with a back body drop and down he goes. So no luck there for Samoa Joe. He felt as though that was an opportunity. He's missed out. Stomps there on Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura, impressive title reign he has had, of course. He's beaten Roman Reigns, he's beaten Sheamus. And, you know, look, Nakamura, you, you've got to give him credit. You know, he's just continued to beat everyone that comes up against him. You know, not only those names are mentioned, you've got the likes of Cesaro, as we saw earlier on, Rusev as well. He's beaten a lot of great superstars. And Nakamura, we, there's a reason why we believe he's ready for the main event, because he's that good. He's beaten main event caliber superstars. Many superstars are all fighting for that same position that Nakamura's in. Well, Shinsuke's been able to beat those guys. So you have to wonder, when will Nakamura get his chance? And oh! Running sent on there by Samoa Joe, landing right on the guard of, of Nakamura, right where he wanted to. Pinpoint perfection there by Samoa Joe. Just like that as well with the DDT. Now the armbar! Joe trying to wrench that arm back, trying to put the pressure on Nakamura. Trying to make him perhaps tap out. But I'm not sure about the strategy there by Samoa Joe. If I'm going to look to target a body part, I'm targeting the knees of, of Nakamura to take that Kinshasa out. If he can take that best move out of Nakamura, as a bitch no driver there by Nakamura. If he can take that out of the King of Strong Styles game, then look, Nakamura, he may not be able to beat Samoa Joe. So targeting the arm of Nakamura may not be the best strategy for Samoa Joe. Joe now into the corner. Nakamura slowly coming to him and now connects with that big boot. And gets met with a headbutt there by Joe. Stomps away to continue the offense as well. And now Joe once again targeting the arm and now wrenching that chin and neck back as well. So maybe Joe has realized something that we haven't. Maybe he feels as though this is might, you know, put Nakamura off, you know, be a bit of a surprise to Mark Nakamura, and maybe we'll catch him out, but you'd have to say, if I'm going to try and beat Nakamura, the best bet would be to take his best move out of the game, but he's trying to make him tap out, focusing on the arm, and now the chin area as well. Here comes Joe! Oh, gets met with the double knees there by Nakamura. So Nakamura able to counter it again with a leg sweep. Joe off of his feet. So, just when you think Samoa Joe is getting some offense in, Nakamura able to continue it his own. Now Nakamura's heating up. The king of strong style looking to get going, but Joe shuts it down immediately. And that's what Joe had to do. These two men, beloved by the fans. And that's why it's a bit of a split decision here tonight. It's difficult to really call this one. Either man could win, and you would not be surprised. Both are so, so good. It's going to be the better man on tonight's show. Because I believe if this match happened again on Raw, it could be a different result than tonight. Because that's how close it is the call between these two. Samoa Joe with an STF right now on Nakamura. We may see that later on tonight from John Cena. But Samoa Joe trying his luck here. And again, still working away on the chin. But this time, he got that leg involved as well. So that's what I want to see from Samoa Joe. Nakamura has him up and just drops him right in front of him. Gonna hook that leg down. Feels as though he's a chance to at least put some pressure on Joe and early cover here this one. Can't quite get it though. You'd have to say both men would have been prepared for a long match between the two because it's going to take a while, I think, to find a winner. It's so close between the two. We've already seen that here. It's been, you know, one man getting some offense immediately. The other firing back with some of his own. Is now Nakamura sit out. Powerbomb doesn't look for the cover though. And I think that could be a mistake there by Nakamura as he gets taken off his feet because of it. Goes for that cover. It may not get the three count, but at least it puts pressure back on Samoa Joe and makes him work for it. 
clubbing desperation clothesline there by Nakamura. Now he's going for the cover. So a bit of a strange decision, but still gets a two count. Joe taking as much time as he needs, as he possibly can possibly can take before losing this one. Because Samoa Joe just trying to find time to rest. Nakamura, that is a really stiff shot to the face. That is going to hurt. Now Nakamura, hang on. He's going to wrench that back of Joe. And then puts a boot into it as well. So maybe Nakamura feels as though the back of Joe is the right target. Shinsuke wants Joe to get back up. He's on the second rope. What is he th thinking here? Oh, there you go! Flies through the air and connects with the knee. And it may not quite be the traditional Kinshasa, but geez, he hit that knee well. There's the traditional one. That leg striking the face of Joe, and it's over. No! Joe kicking out at two, and... That is why Joe is one of the best, finds a way to survive. Nakamura hit the knee off the second, then he lined him up for the Kinshasa and he connected. But Joe still had the wear it all to, to kick out, you know, he somehow managed to stay in it. Even though he got two huge shots to the face, he was still with it and able to kick out. Well, I thought that first one off the second rope really knocked Joe back strong. And Nakamura, was, it was a good combination. Went for the Kinshasa straight away. Is a oh, near fall the counter two there by Joe. Nakamura trying to take some time. I thought it was smart there by Nakamura to go for the combination. And normally that would put a lesser man away. But Samoa Joe, he's going to be very tough to beat tonight. Joe now has Nakamura. And reverse DDT. Nakamura taken down and now Joe continues to work away on the arm as he wrenches that neck back of Nakamura. More pressure applied here to the United States Champion. Will we see another US title reign at payback? Taken off his feet though is Joe and Nakamura. He knows he's not going to get the win here but this is just about putting the, the offense and the pressure back on Samoa Joe more so than trying to win the match. Nakamura should be in front here. Nearly beating Joe with that Kinshasa, but it still feels as though Samoa Joe is very much so in this match. Nakamura, despite really hitting his best shot, doesn't feel as though he's made much progress here. Oh, ducks underneath the first one, Joe, but he gets met with the second. We all know how deadly Nakamura's kicks are, and he's showing us right now. Samoa Joe is going to get him back up. And for the right hand, Nakamura fires back with one of his own. Now Nakamura has him from behind. Oh! Jeez, he went for the German suplex, but Joe, his neck caught the top rope and went all the way down. That will really hurt Samoa Joe. Not the landing he would have hoped for. I mean, you don't really hope to, you know, receive a German suplex anytime, but if you're gonna take one, you don't want to go through the ropes on your way down. Nakamura really applying the pressure on Joe now. Drops the knee again. And this is where I believe Joe has went wrong. Nakamura's been able to utilize those knees and kicks really, really well. And Joe hasn't tried to take that out of the game. Continues to work away in the arm. And it's not working. Nakamura could make him pay here. Kick out again. This is a close battle though between the two. Two of the absolute best fighting it out for this US title. Two of the best up and coming stars. Samoa Joe hanging on. Hasn't quite looked like beating Nakamura yet, whereas Nakamura has come close to beating Joe. Nakamura is launched away from Samoa Joe. I have to say that one of these two could be the next man to enter in that Universal Championship contendership. If Samoa Joe loses here tonight, though, he may just slip further back into the line, whereas Nakamura might just be the next man because Nakamura's beaten everyone there is to beat just about. He's impressed. He's now looking to line up Samoa Joe, perhaps finish him off here. Here he comes. Oh, he went for that knee again. This time Joe was up to it and able to escape. Escape, perhaps, the end. Nakamura receives a shot to the gut. Both men trading blows back and forth, but Nakamura looks as though he's going to get the better of Joe here. Picks him up, but Joe countering, and headfirst! 
Spiking Nakamura with that DDT. Could be it here. Nakamura, though, comfortably kicks out. I think that was a counter one. If, it was, if not, a very easy kick out of two. And that knee again. Those knees are really hurting Joe big time. And Joe just hasn't been able to, wait to find a way to stop them. That's been Joe's mistake tonight. He's come into this one with a, with a very unorthodox game plan to beat Nakamura. And it has not worked for Joe. But he hasn't tried anything else yet. And it could be too late. Nakamura is looking like he could be very close to putting Joe away here. One more Kinshaza, and it's going to be over. Joe's going to find something. Snapman takedown. Is this the beginning for Joe? But again, working on the shoulders of Nakamura. I don't know about this at all from Joe. I do not know what he is trying to do here. It's just not working. And I think he's going to pay the Ullman price. Nakamura's ready to strike. And here it comes. It's the Kinshaza and Samoa Joe. This time, he's out cold. And Joe pays the ultimate price. Poor planning, poor strategy. He tried something different to beat Nakamura. It hasn't worked tonight. Shinsuke Nakamura extends his United States Championship reign for a little while longer. We have no idea who's going to stop this man. Maybe no one will be able to stop Nakamura as he now, I would say, pursues that Universal Championship. Samoa Joe, though, he was impressive, but I just felt as though he had the wrong strategy to beat Nakamura tonight. Didn't work, but we will see plenty of Joe in the near future, and I have no doubt that that Universal Championship, or even this US title, could be around Joe's waist in the near future if he can get another opportunity. Nakamura though, what a competitor, what a champion, and he does it once again here at Payback. It is a match to determine who will face the Universal Champion in the future. Two men who simply do not like each other, and it's all started at the Royal Rumble when John Cena eliminated Goldberg, costing him his chance to main event WrestleMania. Well, Goldberg was not done there. He would fire back at the Elimination Chamber, trying to take John Cena out of the Chamber match. And Cena would still be in the Chamber, but he was nowhere near 100%. At WrestleMania, though, these two men finally met one-on-one, -on -one, and it would be the WCW legend Goldberg knocking off Cena one-on-one. -on -one. Cena, though, would fight back and finally start to get the better of Goldberg in the last few weeks on Raw. And now Cena gets his big chance to finally destroy Goldberg once and for all because this match will not just be a regular match, it is going to be a street fight. And a fight that you do not want to miss, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, Cena versus Goldberg. Two of the very best you will ever see in this ring. They are stepping in here to try and determine who will take on the Universal Champion next. Goldberg. He didn't want this match. He believed I already beat Cena at WrestleMania. Why do I need to beat him again? But our Raw General Manager Christian said, look, if you want to be the next man to take on the Universal Champion, you need to prove yourself just a little bit more. And John Cena is not going to stop until he gets his rematch. So Christian decided, let's get this over and done with. Let's get these two in this ring and sort it all out. So here we go. Goldberg and Cena. Cena's in the ring. And Goldberg is coming out for his legendary entrance in a moment's time. Came back at the Royal Rumble. We've seen him a few times before that, including at the Bragging Rights pay view when he defeated Stone Cold Steve Austin one-on-one. -on -one. But uh, apart from that, we haven't seen all that much of Goldberg, but he has vowed that he is back looking for one more championship run. Elimination Chamber, he took out Cena. Basically stating that he doesn't care what he has to do. He will go through anyone to get what he wants. Cena cost him that championship opportunity. Now Cena has one more chance to cost Goldberg yet again another world title opportunity. The winner of this one will either meet Kevin Owens or the other three competitors. Whoever wins that Universal Championship Fatal 4-Way match that will take place later tonight. They will meet that winner at the upcoming Extreme Rules pay-per-view for the championship. Goldberg 
has been in top form. Anyone who has come anywhere near Goldberg has been destroyed. Goldberg has taken out Seth Rollins in the last few weeks. But John Cena has been able to get the better of him in a few of their altercations. So Cena will have a lot of confidence heading into this match because of that. We'll see how it goes. How will that help Cena tonight? Will it help Cena tonight? Probably not. Goldberg starts off well. And there you go. That is how confident Goldberg is tonight. This is a street fight, which means falls count anywhere, no disqualification, no count outs. These guys can go all around the ring. They can go in the parking lot. They can go out in the street, like we said. He can do. They, they can do whatever the hell they want. John Cena's memories of payback aren't exactly all that fond. He lost his world championship. Now the Universal Championship back at season two's payback, the first payback of the series. Cena was not involved in season three's payback. So John Cena will be looking to, well, I guess, get rid of that blemish of that record and get that win here tonight at payback. So the Universal Championship is something Cena is chasing. He's been chasing it for a long time. It hasn't. It's been since season two that Cena has been the world champion. So it's been over two years, two seasons since John Cena has held the gold. So you have to kind of wonder, you know, is Cena starting to doubt himself? Obviously, age is starting to creep up there for John Cena. Is he still good enough to beat all these newcomers? Goldberg's trying to defy age here tonight and in the future. He believes that he's been well rested and he's been training and working out harder than ever to get into the into shape for this one last big run so he's been preparing for this for a long long time and he's coming into tonight's payback what he believes the best shape he's been in since well back when he was the world champion in the wcw days goldberg believes he's just as good now as he was then but we'll see cena against the ropes goldberg with an arm drag takes down cena hooking the leg could be it here for cena early on Pressure's on John, but he'll kick out. So Goldberg and Cena, it was a vicious battle at WrestleMania. Of course, after the WrestleMania pay-per-view, Goldberg, well, he continued the attack. He took out Cena even more. We were wondering if Cena was going to be even fit to compete here at Payback, but he's been able to clear himself from any concussions or any serious injuries. He's been okay. But um, you probably have to wonder, is he 100% still? You know, that type of beating does take some time to get over now arm drag again by Cena so we'll have to wait and see how good Cena is he looks pretty good at the moment though thank goodness Goldberg though after of course the controversial ending to WrestleMania where Goldberg took out AJ Styles as well and that basically said to the world that he's coming for the world championship and he doesn't care who is the champion doesn't care who are the contenders he wants to be the next man in line as Goldberg now has a baseball bat. This could be about to get interesting here. It's no DQ. The baseball bat is completely legal. Cena now into the announce table. Goldberg. Oh, thought he was about to try and put Cena through it. Cena, though, trying to hang on. So anyone who's been in Goldberg's way has been taken out. Goldberg has just been a man on a mission. He wants that title. And Cena's the last hurdle, so you have to wonder. Goldberg probably going to do absolutely everything in his power to, to destroy John Cena tonight. Take Cena out of the equation. Goldberg now has Cena and oh, takes him down again. This has been good power on display by Goldberg. Now, go for the cover. Could be in here. This street fight match. No. Cena kicks out. A shot to the back there. Now Cena. Oh, here we go. That's press. Takes down Goldberg. Here comes some strikes here by the former three-time world champion here on Universe Mode. Three-time world champion, as we said, over two years since he's held the gold. We'd love another opportunity. He had a chance at the Royal Rumble early, late last season, earlier this year. And he was unsuccessful against Finn Balor. John Cena still at the peak of his game, he believes, but he just hasn't been able to get it done. Hasn't been able to get the big wins. Goldberg's down, and Cena might be going up top. Oh, my. Cena, what is he doing? This is not where he normally likes to go. Cena's going to risk it all. Up the top. Went for the elbow. He crashes and burns and finds nothing but the outside of the ring padding. Goldberg able to get out of the way, and that is not going to fare well for Cena at all. That's a big miss. And Goldberg trying to take advantage. Cena trying desperately to hang in there. 
Goldberg now has Cena. Drives him down. You see Goldberg just a little slow, a little sluggish. Trying to get back to his feet. He says he's in the best shape, but obviously the age factor, you know, it's he's going to catch up on him one time. Will tonight be the night? He goes for a long match here with Cena. Uh, he will truly be tested. As now Goldberg finally cuts Cena open with those vicious right hands. Cena's being cut. Goldberg trying to keep the offense going here. Cena now. Taking off his feet, jackknife cover here. It's outside the ring, it can happen. False count anywhere. And oh, a near fall, the count of two. Cena nearly got caught. Referee a little slow getting into, into position. That may have just cost Goldberg the opportunity to surprise Cena and get that win. Cena, I thought, had just enough time to break free of the pinfall attempt. And the blood of Cena could start to come into play very, very soon. That right hand looked as though it hurt Cena's hand. Stiff head of Goldberg. It's a, not exactly the best thing to punch. It's not going to really help you all that much. Cena, though, he might be looking to get back in the ring. Is he going to go up top again? I think he is. He didn't work the first time. I don't know if it's going to work the second time, John. Goldberg is down. Cena's going to risk it all again. Cena. Oh, Goldberg was just starting to get to his feet. Cena realized and decided, well, I'm not going to take the risk. He's going to play it safe. And I think that's a smart idea from Cena. He doesn't want to crash and burn again. I think that could be all it if uh, he does miss Cena, though. Able to get Goldberg in. Every move that they do, the outside of this ring, every time they fall on the outside of the ring, it's going to hurt them just that little bit more. Cena now struck. And Cena countering back. Cena look out. Here comes a DDT. And that will hurt Goldberg big time. But Cena unable to really capitalize. He's down on one knee. Struggling here. Cena though feels as though he could be about ready to try for the AA. He's going to go for it. And I think he's going to get it. Yes, Cena with the AA. The AA to the outside of the ring. Goldberg's in trouble. Cena's got him. No, the shoulder's up. Cena can't believe it, but he's going to have to because Goldberg kicked out of the AA to the outside of the ring. And that's what Goldberg can do. Goldberg's so hard to beat. Cena learning that right now. Cena can't give up. He's used the AA a number of times and many superstars have kicked out. Of course, we go back to that infamous match of Roman Reigns where Reigns kicked out of the AA, I think it was four or five times. But Cena still kept going for it no matter what. And he got the win in the end. So I don't think Cena will be too deterred about that. He's going to keep on going for it. Cena, though, he's getting struck more and more to that cut. Goldberg's really working on it. And I have no idea where the referee is. What the hell is he doing over there? Referee, what do we pay this idiot for? He's on the other side of the ring. The, the action's happening here near, the out, near these announce tables. And the referee's on the other side of the ring. How the hell are you going to call a three count over there? If anyone wants a job as a referee, let me know. We'll try and get you involved because this referee sucks. Goldberg now up and... Oh! Sit out powerbomb! Onto the... In Oh, to the steel steps. Goldberg's head caught some of it on the way down. And that is going to hurt Goldberg, though. He's back up, but, geez, that's going to really affect him. Cena, though, he's launched and probably caught him into the steps on the way down as well. Now the referee. Is he in position this time? He is somewhat. The cover now. Goldberg, can he get it? No, a kick out of two. Cena hanging on for dear life. Goldberg. Getting the better of Cena right now. It's just a battle. It's just a fight. These two guys just trying to do everything they can to inflict as much damage on one another. And right on cue, Goldberg gets the chair involved. Cena, though, out of harm's way. Oh, this time. Right between the eyes. Into that cut. You can see the blood on the chair as well. Goldberg strikes again with the chair. Goldberg. You're going to make a decision, Goldberg. You're going to use the chair or you're going to drop it? He's going to drop it and going to go for the cover now. Referee still takes his time getting there. He's there now, but still Cena has enough time to kick out. Cena, though, trying to get back to his feet. Goldberg, look out for a DDT. Cena, though, he's going to hit one of his own. Is this the time for Cena to come back? There's a steel chair right there if Cena wants to use it. 
Now look out for Nelson into the slam. Goldberg with all his power just picks up Cena and drives him down. And now here's trouble. Cena launched over the barricade and we're about to go into the crowd folks. Cena and Goldberg head into the crowd. Cena can see the blood all over the face. It's not pretty. But that's the effects of this street fight. Goldberg now went for a right hand. Cena counted and got one of his own in. Firing back. Now Goldberg has Cena. He's trying to bring him into position that he wants to be wants him to be in. Perhaps near these garbage cans. Cena, right hand to Goldberg. That one really struck him well. Cena was he was able to knock Goldberg a long way back. Goldberg though, this time the uppercut. Cena caught really well there. That's Goldberg got playing. A knee to the gut. And Cena getting close to going back inside the ring area. Back and forth, these guys are just striking each other with their best shots. Cena with another right hand. Goldberg now with a knee. Who's going to get the first big shot in here? Goldberg with an uppercut. Cena falls back into the ring area. I think Goldberg wants him to get back over here, and he does. Now it's Cena trying to stop Goldberg from taking him back over the barricade. Big knee there as well by Cena. He's trying to avoid these strikes from Goldberg. Take, stand as far away from Goldberg as he can whilst Goldberg's trying to strike. And so far it's working, but now Goldberg. Oh, counter there by Cena. Goldberg and Cena are just happy to throw haymakers at one another. Like we said, this is a fight, not really much of a match. Cena though with a shoulder block takedown. Goldberg able to counter, sweep Cena off his feet. And now has the steel chair once again. This is not good for Cena. Able to roll out of the way though. Goldberg though, this time, connects right on the forehead again and follows it up with one to the, to the gut. Goldberg trying to keep Cena down. Goldberg trying his best to destroy John Cena here, inflict as much punish, punishment, as much damage as he possibly can. Cena though shrugs Goldberg off. Goldberg wasted far too much time, and now hang on, Cena wants to go for the AA again. He's got it. Yes, yeah, Cena's done it. This time the ref's in position. Count on ref. Count to three. No, Goldberg kicks out again. He took an AA onto the concrete and still kicked out what is Cena what does Cena have to do here Goldberg now lining him up for the jackhammer Cena countering though and that's a huge match saver Goldberg hits the jackhammer you can count to a hundred Cena now gets Goldberg into the stage equipment there is now Cena might be looking for it again he's got a hold of Goldberg dragging him over more towards the crowd again. But Goldberg strikes Cena really well with a big right hand. And Goldberg now has Cena. Not sure what they're trying to go for here. Where they want to take one another. But they fancy this open area here. Perhaps they want to go for a big move. And they need the extra space to perhaps try and inflict it. I'm not sure. Cena now. That'll help. Cena takes down Goldberg. Su suplexes him down. And now will chop the knee as well. A few more of those, he might be able to cut Goldberg open as well. And I'm sure that's what Cena might be looking for. Goldberg is down. Cena trying his best to try and keep Goldberg down and keep him out of this match. Cena, though, wasting some time as uh, Goldberg's trying to get to his feet. Cena trying to figure out what to do next. Cena's wasting a lot of time here. Goldberg with a headbutt. Perhaps one more big move could do it. Not sure though, Goldberg's been able to kick out of two AAs now. Shot there to the back of Goldberg, and now Cena's got it again! Oh, another AA! Surely not! Surely he can't kick out of a third, it's over! No. Wow, oh my god, he's kicked out of a third AA, the second to the concrete! Goldberg is inhuman! Cena tried to use the chair, Goldberg wasn't having any of it. Cena's in big trouble. His best moves are not working. They're not stopping Goldberg. This time now he gets suplexed near that table onto the concrete as well. Goldberg continuing to work away on that open wound. 
John Cena's went for AA after AA and he still can't get the win. Goldberg now has the chair. Cena though, looks as though he was able to avoid it. Cena has the chair himself, the chair goes flying. Cena will try to go from behind, couldn't quite connect. Not sure what the hell, hell the referee's doing, I think he's trying to get a workout in. No surprise, he doesn't want to ever pay attention to the match. He's always focused on something other than the match. Now he's going back to the ring. I mean, this is not the time to get your morning workout in, ref. I don't know, where the hell is he? If Goldberg goes for a cover here, the referee is nowhere near. You can see the face of Cena, though. It is a complete, as they say, crimson mask. It is completely red. Blood all over Cena's face. Goldberg now. I think he's going for the big one. He wants to finish Cena. And I think he will with a jackhammer. Here it comes. Jackhammer. It's over, surely. Jackhammer to the outside of the ring. No, Cena. He gets the shoulder up. Well, Goldberg's kicked out a few times. Now Cena's not giving up. I thought for sure a jackhammer would finish Cena off. But Cena, unfortunately enough for him, he's only had to take the one jackhammer. No spears either. Whereas Goldberg's taken three AAs now. So you'd have to say Cena's still slightly in front, but you wouldn't think it looking at the way Cena is right now. Goldberg, a few more chair shots will help. Both men fighting over this chair. And oh! The chair caught Goldberg in the face when it was being flung away. And Goldberg's been cut. And he's also been dropped on his face as well by Cena. Up in the electric chair, dropping him down. Cena now in that ringside barricade. Cena waiting for the big right hand. Knocks Goldberg down. Cena's not giving up. He's got Goldberg now with this gut wrench. Here it comes. This is power from Cena. And he drops Goldberg right down with that suplex. Cena though, shrugged off. And Goldberg back to the chair. And oh, Cena able to roll out of harm's way again. Oh, he caught the chair this time. And Cena now can't quite get the better of Goldberg. Goldberg though can't get the better of Cena. That high knee into the back of Cena keeps him down. It's been a long fight between the two. Both men are trying their best to hang on. Who's going to get the next big shot in? They're taking this out in the crowd area for majority of the match now. Not much of it was spent in the ring and that's no real surprise. Goldberg with a steel chair shot. Not the best shot you, you'll ever see but it's effective nonetheless. Goldberg taken off his feet again by Cena. Cena's going to have to try and find something. Another AA or maybe try and make Goldberg tap with the SDF. You've got to try and something here. Otherwise, I think Goldberg might just be able to put Cena away. That cut is vicious. Another big shot to that forehead. Maybe another jackhammer and it could be over. Another still chair shot even. And that might be the end for Cena. Goldberg just has Cena right where he wants him. Cena's trying his best to hang in there. Right hand there, the Goldberg. Headbutts colliding. Blood on blood. Now Goldberg, look out. Cena launched into the table. Suplex into the table, caught the edge of it, and enough to break the table. But Goldberg, as you can see, can't capitalize. Goldberg nearly had this one won. All he has to do is just fall onto Cena here, and he wins. But he has got nothing left. This fight has taken everything out of Goldberg. But he's going to go for one more big move. He wants one more jackhammer to seal the deal and book his place in Extreme Rules for the Universal Championship Jackhammer by Goldberg and Cena surely cannot kick out of another it's over Goldberg survives the fight Goldberg is the new number one contender for the Universal Championship what a win by Goldberg he's been on a path of destruction and that path has led now to the Universal Championship match he's been looking for. It'll take place at Extreme Rules. It'll be Goldberg versus the winner of the Fatal 4A match coming up soon. Cena though, he fought hard. Three AA, still not enough to beat the icon that is Goldberg. Goldberg, the machine, 
able to survive and he keeps on fighting and he's coming for the Universal Championship. Well backstage here we've got Rhino backstage and oh hang on Randy Orton and Rhino we've seen these two battle out the last couple of weeks but looks though like Rhino maybe asking for an alliance well the shake of the hand well maybe we're gonna see those two team up or something we've seen Rhino beat Orton the last couple of weeks perhaps Orton deciding maybe if he can't beat him how about join him Rhino is extending his hand maybe offering a chance to team up together so we'll have more on that as it develops but right now we are getting ready for some tag team action the Smackdown Tag Team Championships are on the line it is D Generation X versus the team of Enzo and Cass for the Smackdown Tag Titles and potentially the final time we see DX on Smackdown if you haven't been aware Shawn Michaels' contract on Smackdown expires at the end of tonight and we've been told from that meeting that he had earlier on with Edge that it's not good news for Shawn Michaels his contract will not be renewed unless he wins the tag team titles tonight so if Michaels loses DX is no more Triple H is on his own and Michaels is heading back to his general manager job in NXT so their opponents come into the ring now Enzo Amore and Big Cass, Colin Cassidy, the best team right now on SmackDown, have a chance to defend that honor, defend that privilege, and defend those tag titles. They have the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, two time tag team champions. Their first reign only lasting about a month until DX took the titles from them. DX's reign, though, lasting all of five days. When Enzo and Cass got those titles back, it's time to prove that they deserve to be champions. It's time to get that big win. Well, Enzo and Cass, there's a lot to like about these guys. You've got Big Cass, the enforcer of the group. Enzo Amore, he's got the gift of the gab. He'll talk a lot of smack, but he can back it up in the ring as well. He's really been the anchor of the team, in my opinion. He's been very impressive. And you probably would expect Big Cass to be the guy who would get things done. I think Enzo Amore has probably been the better of the two in recent times. Well, what we do know, ladies and gentlemen, is the SmackDown Tag Team Championships are on the line. This potentially DX's last chance, their last match together in Universe Mode. This could be the night that we see Shawn Michaels' last match here in Universe Mode. Shawn Michaels. Triple H, D Generation X, is this the final time we see them? Shawn Michaels doesn't look all that confident. Looks a little worried. Triple H as well, looking at each other, just kind of wondering, what can we do? We need to win this. You can see the determination on their face. They are ready, and they need this win. Otherwise, Michaels is done. And that's the big stipulations that you can expect to see now that the contracts have been enforced in Universe Mode, the first example of it here tonight. Shawn Michaels' contract, we've been told it's a $400,000 contract, which is a big chunk of SmackDown's salary cap, which is why Edge is prepared to let Shawn Michaels go if he does not get this win tonight, because they can use that salary cap to get some big name free agents onto their brand. Or even try and maybe look for a trade or pick up a big free agent signing when they become available. So SmackDown preparing for the future, they realize how important this is, and they realize that if Shawn Michaels is not performing, well, there's no point spending that much of the salary cap on him. So a big night here for DX. WrestleMania, DX versus Enzo and Cash. DX win on that occasion. Mr. WrestleMania himself, Shawn Michaels, no big surprise that he stepped up on the big occasion. Oh, the referee caught in the crossfire there. Actually, um, we could probably pay Triple H for that one. That's a, a well-needed right hand to the referee, I think. You see right there, Triple H has lost both of his matches he's had. Two out of two matches he's had on payback that he has lost. Will it be three out of three tonight? Exactly a, a event that he's had all that much success in. Of course, one of those matches was against Brock Lesnar in Season 2. And Season 3 last year against Dean Ambrose. So two massive matches Triple H wasn't able to get done. This time, tag team action. How will Triple H fare? 
Big cast now in the match early on. Maybe a strategy here by Enzo. I think Enzo has been the better of the two, as we said. So maybe Big Cass get in there, try and see what he can do. And Enzo maybe come in for the big save at the end, which is quite amazing that we're saying that. Normally it would be the other way around, but it's truly been uh, Enzo who's been the better of the two, I've got to say. Michael's now in. And back body drop down goes Big Cass. Well, I think the big reason why DX lost those tag titles is they had a match at WrestleMania the next night. They had another match against the Raw Tag Team Champions in Gallows and Anderson. And then they had another match a few days later against Enzo and Cass. So three massive matches, two of them title matches, one of them a champion versus champion match. And well, whilst they won two, they couldn't win the third. So three massive matches in one week for a guy like Shawn Michaels who's not in the ring all the time. Triple H getting up there in age. That's a lot to take on the body. And I just felt as though they were physically fatigued and just had nothing left in the tank come their third match. So it was a tough occasion as Michaels into the steel ring post. It was tough to go back to back to back in such a short period of time. Three massive matches. And you know, when you go through WrestleMania, it's hard to go and back up the next night as it is. But then you've got to back up and then you've got to go again on SmackDown. There's no real surprise that DX had nothing in the tank come that SmackDown match. But they are now well rested. Triple H with the victory of a big cast on the last episode of SmackDown, which will also give DX a bit of a confidence boost. Michaels against the ropes now. Here comes Enzo with that elbow. So DX coming to this match with some momentum and some confidence, no doubt. But I just think now that they're well rested. They've had some time to recover. This is their chance. Enzo now looking to fly off the top. He's going to go for a pin drop of a splash. Lands down on Michaels. He's going to get Michaels up. He's got something else planned. He wants to get his tag partner in. Maybe he wants his tag partner to fly at the top of the rope. Instead, though, the double boot there of Big Cass into the face of Michaels. Triple H not exactly thrilled about that. Nothing he can do, though. The damage has been done. HBK down. Well, it's not really often that we see Enzo and Cass. Not the fav fan favorites tonight. But DX, the veterans, they've got the crowd support. People have enjoyed their, their nostalgia act of D-Generation X. Winning those tag titles was a real treat. But is their time coming to an end? Big Cass launched into the corner, bouncing off harshly into that turnbuckle. Triple H putting pressure on Big Cass. Feels as though he has a chance to put him away here for the cover. Could be it. Big Cass kicks out. Triple H telling Big Cass to suck it. This could be trouble here for Cass. Oh, counter though. Right hand there by Triple H sends Big Cass down. And the clothesline by Big Cass keeping Triple H off his feet. The tag will be made. Enzo's back in. Enzo now against the ropes. And a high knee there by Triple H right in the face of Enzo. Job well done there by the game. Triple H now in some trouble. Picked up and look out. Oh, counter there by the game. Hits the knee there on Enzo. Triple H fighting for his best friend's job here tonight. Obviously, Michaels is the NXT GM, so he's not going to be going away permanently from Universe Mode, but certainly his in-ring career is up in the balance. He could be gone after tonight. Spinebuster. Triple H, though, if he hits that a few more times... His mate is not going anywhere. Michaels will be staying around for a long time. Big move by the game. And, oh, went for that bulldog, but he can't connect. Triple H and Enzo fighting it out. Back and forth now. Enzo going for that leg sweep and connects. Keeps Triple H down. Perhaps thought about a tag. Going to go against it. And continue to work on Triple H now. Gets it back to his feet. Triple H into the corner. Hang on, taken down again is Enzo, Triple H, looking to perhaps go for a big shot, and a DDT! And that DDT, just slicing the head of Enzo open. We've seen some blood tonight. Shawn Michaels back in it. Straight away, going for the cover. Feels as though he could have a big cast. is coming! Triple H gets there and hits the swinging netbreaker, but Enzo will kick out regardless. 
the career of Michaels is on the line. And Michaels going, oh! I think he caught it. It was not pretty at all, but he got enough. But Enzo's back up and counters Michaels. Enzo now, he's going for a DDT. Michaels bounces off the mat. Triple H is nowhere to be found. This could be it here. Enzo to beat Michaels and end his career, no! A chance to end DX's run here on SmackDown. To end the in-ring career of Shawn Michaels, perhaps. The comeback. It could be over. And whilst the fans love Enzo and Cass, they may not be the most liked guys around if uh, they end the career of Michaels, but unfortunately, that's just the way it goes. Just ha happens to be the case. It's not exactly their fault, but Michaels is letting Enzo sit in that corner for a moment. And now Triple H is going to come in. And here comes Triple H. He hits the big boot, and we're going to switch roles for a moment. Michaels is going for that pedigree. Not exactly the... What we normally see from the two, but sometimes you've got to switch things up, and Michaels is nowhere to be found to keep Enzo out. Uh, sorry, Big Cass out of there as it's broken up and Enzo stays in it. Referee caught a bit of crossfire there. So in the game, hit the big kick there, and Michaels went for the pedigree. Maybe Triple H will go for his own pedigree. Didn't quite work out for them, anyways. They probably should have kept to the traditional. Traditional tactics is the spine buster. That's more like Triple H. Enzo's in trouble. Could get here. Big Cass has got to get there and he will. Almost it for DX. They nearly had this win. They only had those tag titles back in their possession. Triple H shot to the guard of Enzo. Got to find that pedigree. Get Michaels back in there. Again though, happy to... Just taunt away here and intimidate Enzo. Now the tag. Here we go. This is more like it. Super kick. Sweet chin music now. Let's go for the pedigree. That's more like it from DX. Michaels has got to go for the cover. Triple H has got to get... He's got to get rid of Big Cass. Michaels now hooks the leg. The Triple H distracting the referee. The referee's not counting. Michaels now instead. He's going to go for his big shot. He's going to go up top. I thought he was going to go for the vintage elbow instead. Wants Enzo to get up. Michaels. Oh, went for the missile drop kick. Enzo avoided it. Enzo a little too far from, from Michaels in that ring. And he would have only just caught Enzo anyways. Instead, he doesn't get much of him at all. In fact, he got none of it. Now Big Cass, time for him to clean up the mess. Big Cass is in, and this is trouble for Michaels. Michaels, though, has a chance. Crossbody. Flo flew off the rope and connects. He's got to keep Big Cass down, Michaels. This is a chance for DX here. Here comes DX. Will we see it again? No, a big boot from Big Cass and a clubbing blow from behind. Michaels is in trouble. Enzo and Cass have got to get Michaels in that corner and finish him off. Going for the big splash off the top. Triple H, is, he's got to be taken out of the equation as well though, otherwise he'll break things up and save the day. Oh, big boot there by Big Cass. Trouble now for Michaels. The big boot, and this could be the end. Enzo now, he's going to go off the top of the road with a splash. Enzo. About to pin Michaels. Here's the cover. Big Cass will get to Triple H. And he'll stop him from breaking it up just in time. And Enzo and Cass have pulled off a huge win. A career-defining victory. But it will be the end of D-Generation X. Michaels, his SmackDown contract will expire at the end of the night it will not be renewed and Enzo and Cass will retain the titles tonight and in the process end the career of Michaels once again he'll go back into retirement the dream is over the fairy tale comeback will end Enzo and Cass still the tag team champions it's not going to be their most favorable victory in terms of the crowd support but it will be a massive win in terms of their careers they 
finally defend those tag titles. And now they can move on to becoming one of the great tag team champions here at Universe Mode. They've had a great start to their careers here at Universe Mode. Let's see them progress to the next level. We'll see how they fare as a tag team in the future. Big win tonight. DX is no more, but Enzo and Cass continue their run as champs. Ladies and gentlemen, one of your two co-headlining main events begins now. It's time for the Fatal 4-Way Universal Championship match. The first man in this one, it's none other than the show-off, a former world champion himself entering the Payback Arena. It's been a long time for Ziggler since he's had his big win. He's been looking for ever since losing the championship at SummerSlam. Ziggler has been on the hunt. Tonight, he gets his chance. Tonight, he's back in a big headline match on a pay-per-view, searching for a championship. He's up against the Royal Rumble winner, a former NXT champion, and the leader of the club that persists of himself and the tag team champions on Raw, Gallows and Anderson. It is the phenomenal AJ Styles. Well, at WrestleMania, he had the main event. He had a chance of a lifetime become, to become the champion, but it wasn't to be. It was not his night, but tonight could very well be. Styles is back here looking for a championship that he has yet to win, and that is the World Championship now the universal title styles wants to be a champion of the world this is his chance not well, to be a champion of the universe actually but styles has been very impressive since we've seen him in universe mode on raw we're surprised that he couldn't win the the title at wrestlemania this may be the night though that he captures that championship he's up against the two-time wwe champion though it is the man seth Rollins Seth Rollins impressive against Dean Ambrose one-on-one -on -one in WrestleMania where he Represented Raw to get the Raw the first draft pick ever since then he's been promised an opportunity to be in this Fatal 4 Rewarded if you will with this opportunity. And he's been looking impressive since he's had his run-ins of Goldberg Hasn't exactly gotten the best of Goldberg So he's not exactly got the best preparation heading into this one been beaten up a little bit thrown around a bit as well so Rollins will be looking to try and just work his way into it take his time pick and choose his spots I think tonight we probably won't see a, a, an all-out Seth Rollins tonight though we may see the very best from the current Universal Champion a two-time world champion Kevin Owens and what will be the first time the Universal Championship in its new form will be defended the former world heavyweight championship belt now the universal championship belt defended for the first time kevin owens defeating brock lesnar at wrestlemania to win the championship and tonight he looks to defend it for the first time since becoming the champion once again a new brand for kevin owens it's a new time a new era for owens and the kevin owens show season three of universe mode was all kevin owens arguably in my opinion the superstar of the year the names he beat, the performances he put in, cannot be matched. Kevin Owens tonight. Is this the beginning of another special season for Kevin Owens here on Raw? Fatal 4-Way. Universal Championship on the line. The very four best on Raw will go at it tonight. We start off with everyone getting in each other's way. Throwing down some punches and some strikes. Seth Rollins after Owens. Everyone seems as though they want a piece of the champ. Owens over the top of the rope. Ziggler and Rollins have had their share of an alliance over the last, you know, six or so months. Teaming up a few times as well. We'll see if they do team up at any time here tonight. And of course, AJ Styles was one of the men they targeted and had to deal with for a long time when it was the club versus Rollins and Ziggler. So plenty of history there. Owens, though, well, he's got really no history with anyone here. He's brand new to the to the brand, and uh, this is his first chance to really get in the ring and show us what he can do against the likes of these three superstars in the ring. Rollins with that knee off the ropes. Styles is all alone in the ring. Pinfalls must happen in the ring. No DQ, no countouts, of course. And you've got to pin your opponent in the ring, unlike the big street fight match we witnessed 
and a little bit earlier on this one has to be contested in the ring pinfall submission of course right hand there by Rollins to Styles Rollins into the corner meanwhile Owens and Ziggler still battling away to the outside Rollins now hits a suplex on Styles and a back body drop down goes Ziggler as well we'll try our best to cover this one ladies and gentlemen I've got a feeling this is going to be chaotic as now the cover Owens realizing getting back in the ring and coming after Rollins now well off. oh Ziggler what about that I thought Owens was going to get in the way but Ziggler got in there and immediately hit a power slam takes out his well, his former friend or ally I don't know if they're still friends or not probably tonight they're definitely not but uh, Ziggler now looking to beat Owens kick out at one night so nicely done there by Ziggler nice little start for him and that'll be what Ziggler will need he's a little down on confidence you know as a part of the Wrestlemania pre-show battle royal he didn't quite win that one but um, he did defeat Samoa Joe and Shinsuke Nakamura in a triple threat to be in this match and when you beat those two guys in one night that's pretty special Styles springboard crossbody landed on Owens didn't, like, didn't think he'd get all of it but he did in the end and Owens wrecking the eyes of Styles well AJ Styles realistically the only guy in this matchup that the fans aren't exactly all that fond of fans have been supporting Ziggler and Rollins for a long time and now beginning to warm up to Kevin Owens as well after well, arguably an entire season of the fans really despising what Kevin Owens is doing ever since his injury the fans have been warming up to him and supporting him a little bit more how will the Raw fans though react to Kevin Owens a guy they haven't seen all that much of on their brand will they be open to support Kevin Owens as well, really it's realistically a Smackdown guy right hand there by Styles coming after Owens gonna pick him up can't quite get it though as Owens now look out down goes Styles Ziggler and Rollins forget about that friendship they're coming after each other tonight back and forth goes the head of Rollins he's gonna roll outside as well it's down to Ziggler and Owens inside the ring Rollins and Styles laying on top of each other there well, having a bit of a cuddle out there aren't they isn't that nice meanwhile Ziggler and, and uh, Owens in this ring Ziggler at the moment trying to get rid of Owens here Styles breaks it up Rollins is back in as well Styles after Rollins probably not exactly thrilled that he came out and gave him a cuddle so he's going to get back at him Ziggler now up top he's got to get there and perhaps break this pinfall up changing direction went for the elbow and really didn't get anyone came off worse for air I think and he's out of this ring Rollins with a clothesline down goes Styles and Owens tried to grab a hold of Rollins couldn't quite get him Owens turns Rollins around, sends him into the corner. For the best on Raw in one ring at the one time. A bit double team here from Styles and, and Owens, but uh, that was short lived as Styles now wants Ro Rollins all to himself. Throws him out of the ring. Suplex now. Bridges through. Could be it here for Ziggler. Styles has got to get there and he does, but Kevin Owens kicked out anyways. Owens is getting the hell out of there. Don't blame him. Styles taken out with a suplex by the show off. Rollins is back in just to keep a close eye on this. As we said, Rollins probably not coming into this one 100%, so we'll have to wait and see how he feels and how he goes as the longer this match goes on. Because you get the feeling that Rollins may not have a lot left in the tank after what Goldberg's been able to do with him, due to him. Ziggler now has Styles for the Snapmare. Meanwhile, Owens coming after Rollins. That was a bit of a, a messy situation, but in the end, Ziggler got a hold of Styles, took him out, and Rollins gets a hold of Kevin Owens and hits the clothesline and takes him down. So it's close right now. The four men are giving it their all early on, but no one's really been able to get the upper hand or even get close to finding that win. Rollins now rolls through. Big kick right in the button there. Ziggler could be out. Rollins won't get the chance though. Neck breaking now to Owens. He's got to get to Ziggler. The Ziggler no stirring, trying to get to the ropes to help himself get up. So that chance for Rollins to win is gone. Styles and Ziggler again now. Right hand there by Styles is blocked by Ziggler. Connects with the oh went for the super kick, missed out, and Styles no Ziggler countering back on his feet. And Styles now launched over the top and taken out of the ring. 
Owens is going to follow out there. Thought he might stay in there, continue to work away on Rollins. Instead, Owens wants a piece of Ziggler. Well, Kevin Owens, he's got to try out all these guys. He's got to see how he fares against all three of these men because each of the three men, in my opinion, obviously now we know Goldberg as well will be involved in the title picture. But these are the three plus Goldberg who probably will be chasing that Universal Championship for the next four to six months. So Owens has got to get a real good look at all three of them and find a way to get the better of all of them because he's going to need that valuable experience against them. Beautiful backbreaker there by Rollins as now Styles wants a piece of Ziggler. But Rollins wants more of Ziggler as well. They're going to fight over who gets to put Ziggler away here. Ziggler though is not giving up without a fight. Owens to the outside of the ring having a nap. I guess if you're Kevin Owens... You don't mind all three of these guys fighting out because you know there's not going to be a result. As long as there's three in the ring, you know there's not going to be a result. And when there's two in the ring like now, after that DDT, there's trouble. Rollins connects there on Styles. Here's trouble. Owens has got to get there, but Styles will kick out. So when there's two in the ring, if you're Kevin Owens, you've got to get back in there because that's when a result could, can occur. But if there's three in there, well, you know there's going to be some pinfall breakups and you should be okay. So you're going to take... An opportunity to get some rest when that happens. No one's did that. Back in there now, though, facing the music against Seth Rollins. Rollins now going to be launched into the corner. Owens is going to try and get a hold of Rollins. Can't quite get him, though. Rollins went for the gut. He couldn't quite connect. And Ziggler now going to get in there and break things up. Grabs Rollins. And Ziggler with a famous... Uh, trying to keep... Kevin Owens away, but Styles is back in as well. Ziggler over the top of the rope, hanging on there. Owens trying to get rid of him, but Styles is going to do it now. Look out, DDT to the apron. Oh my, that could be the night over for Dolph Ziggler. But Styles tried to grab a hold of Ziggler. Ziggler, perhaps on pure instinct alone, was able to fight off, but he's back in the ring. And Rollins and Styles now double teaming the show off. AJ Styles. A man who turned on Ziggler and Rollins at Survivor Series. They were partners for that night. Styles turned on them ever since. These guys have just hated each other. Rollins and Ziggler. They've been friends, I guess, by default. Allies by default. They've had really no, really no choice but the team up to fight off the club. As now, that turnbuckle bomb there by Rollins, launching Ziggler in the corner. Meanwhile, Owens and Styles to the outside of the ring. This is the chance for Rollins to put Ziggler away. Went for the pedigree. But Ziggler able to take Rollins off his feet and stay in this matchup. That pedigree could have been dangerous. Now that side headlock. And here comes the show off at his absolute finest. Showing off a little bit more pressure on the head of Rollins. Now Owens. He wants to put Rollins away once and for all. Looking for it. Gonna go for the pop-up powerbomb. Trouble! Rollins connected with the powerbomb. Ziggler's gonna get there and break it up. He will. Close. But that could mean Rollins might be out of this matchup. That pop-up powerbomb, Rollins might be down for a while. This is the chance for either Ziggler or Kevin Owens to get the win here. Styles is out. Owens slowly back to his feet. Ziggler with that running drop kick launched himself at, at Owens and he just jumped up and connected swiftly into the chest of Owens Pele kick now by Styles and you can see Ziggler is in a bad bad way he's got to get out of there Styles could be in some trouble Rollins I think he's going for, for the wrong man I think he's going to pin Ziggler here Ziggler's barely moving he's, he's finally moving now but there's about 10 seconds where he was really down Rollins instead thought he, AJ Styles was the man to beat. But it uh, didn't work out that way for him. Referee, oh, he's in the way. Referee's down. Ziggler now to the outside. Owens and Ziggler now. Rollins going up top. Rollins, what is he thinking here? Wants Styles to get up, though. Thought he might be going for that Phoenix Splash. Instead, wants him to go up. Instead, with the double knees off the top. And Styles is out. Real trouble now for the phenomenal one. Rollins, though, couldn't take advantage. Owens and Ziggler back in the ring anyways. Probably not much of an opportunity. 
Shot there by Ziggler. Fighting away. Still trying his best to get rid of Owens here. Went for the neck breaker. A little bit of arrogance there by Ziggler. Didn't go with the neck breaker with two hands and said use one. Now Styles. Phenomenal forearm. AJ Styles connects. Rollins is out. But what's AJ doing? Rollins is down. Kevin Owens realizes he's going for the pin. Well, Styles, he just had to get Owens out of there. And he had the match won. But instead, he wanted to go for one more move as well. Now, Styles, sensing the occasion, sensing the moment. This is it. He's going for the Styles Clash. He connects with this. Styles is going to win the Universal title. Connects. It's over. The cover. Sigler's coming. No. It breaks it up just in time. When we thought Styles was about to win the title for the first time. Sigler gets in the way. Now Ziggler wants Rollins up. Rollins. Everyone's wanting a piece of him right now. Rollins back to his feet though. Shot him off takedown and takes out Ziggler. Now look out for the suplex connecting. Owens. He wants a piece of someone. He doesn't care who it is. He's going to line someone up with that pop-up powerbomb pretty soon. This has been close. Now Owens. We said here it comes. Ziggler's on the receiving end. Pop up. No. Hurricane Rana. What a counter there by Ziggler. Ziggler now. Lining up Owens. And zigzag. Zigzag to Owens. This is it for Ziggler. He's got to get Styles out of there. He realizes that. Styles and Ziggler are both. Sorry, Styles and Rollins are both gone. But Ziggler. What is he doing? He's not going for the cover. He had Owens beat. He took out both men. He had a chance to pin Owens. Instead, he's coming back after Styles. That's a mistake there by Ziggler. And that could cost him the Universal Championship. Those small mistakes are all you need. That's all there is between the difference between winning a world title and being a challenger. Ziggler had a chance to win. He sensed the moment, but he did not capitalize on it. The zigzag could have beaten the champ right there. Meanwhile, Styles, Rollins, and Owens all back in the ring. Rollins coming back out. Ziggler's back in there, though. It's a bit of cat and mouse. Ziggler back in. AJ Styles, he rolls out. Ziggler now, back and forth, whipping the head of Kevin Owens. He's going to get out of there. Now Rollins, hang on. Wait a second, Rollins. Got the arms hooked. Pedigree, no. Ziggler countering. And again, Ziggler pulling off a massive counter and saving the match for himself. Ziggler, famous sir. What a performance this is by Ziggler. He's putting on a clinic. Now, hooks the leg. Is Ziggler going to do it? Styles is coming. He can't get there, though, Styles. Luckily enough, Seth Rollins able to stay in it. Geez, Dolph Ziggler's come close. The frustration has to be setting in. Look out. Calf crusher now. But he's close to the ropes. Don't get it too excited anyways. Both Rollins and Owens are in. Look out. Bit of double team now. And the knees of Styles and Owens. Is, oh, wow. Owens trying to line up Styles with a big super kick. That partnership was short-lived, but Styles able to avoid it instead. Getting Owens out there and going to go after him. Meanwhile, Ziggler's in the ring all by himself. Having a chance to recover. He was coming out here to get a piece of Styles. And I'll launch him into the announce desk. Drop kick there just in the nick of time. Keeps Owens away. Rollins is down at the top of the screen there. We can't quite get a visual on him, but he's down. Back body drop closely going through that table, just narrowly avoiding it. Meanwhile, Owens still putting the fight here. Taking it to AJ Styles. Styles getting Owens back in. He's going to follow, I think. He is. Rollins is coming after Ziggler. And drops Ziggler down with that DDT. Meanwhile, Owens, look out. We're going for the package bomb. Styles countering, though, into the clothesline. It's been a long match thus far. Are we getting closer to a winner? I'm not sure yet. We're waiting for one more big move. If Styles can hit that Styles Clash now, we might be able to find ourselves that winner. Meanwhile, Owens struck with that right hand sent outside of the ring. All four men are out there now. Styles, Styles off the apron. Connects 
with a moonsault and got all of Kevin Owens. Now Owens into the ring post. Rollins and Ziggler still battling away. Owens is in a bad way right now. AJ Styles has got a chance to capitalize. He's got Owens up. He's going to drive him down. Busting the brains. Scrambling the brains of Kevin Owens. He will be brought back into the ring now by Styles. And focus on the action in the ring as Styles has a chance perhaps to put Owens away. Owens though up to the task. Going to avoid. Now Kevin Owens going up top. What has he got planned for us here Kevin? Going for the frog splash. Connecting. Owens to win. Retain the title here at Payback. No, a kick out by Styles. So, so close. Yet so far. Well, last year Kevin Owens defended the current Universal Championship belt against Randy Orton. Tonight, can he do it again against Styles, Ziggler and Rollins? To cap off another successful night. Now Styles drops... Owens down, working away on the arm there. Well, this is AJ Styles' moment. This is his chance. If he's going to beat Kevin Owens, it can be now because Ziggler and Rollins are still fighting. Suplexed by Ziggler and Rollins out there. And Styles has a chance, but Ziggler's going to get back in. Owens. Hang on, Ziggler. I think he's going to... Is he coming after Rollins or is he looking towards Styles and Owens? I think he wants Rollins again. So Ziggler, I'm not sure what's going on here, but he wants Rollins. But Rollins not in position to go for anything. Rollins though, oh, he was up to it. Faking that he was stunned and was ready to drive Ziggler into the steps and keep him away. Styles though, bringing Rollins into the ring. AJ Styles, what can he do here? What can he produce to try and get rid of Seth Rollins now? Ziggler's coming back in. Rollins is in the corner. Ziggler coming after Rollins! Zigzag! This is his chance, but Styles is going to get rid of him here. Ziggler are countering. Rollins is coming back in. And now the double team. Oh, what about that? Or was that a double cutter? Ziggler now coming after Owens to the outside. Styles has rolled out himself. Meanwhile, Rollins, after getting that. Zigzag put on him. He's now back to his feet. And he wants Ziggler. So this is amazing. You know, we've seen Ziggler and Rollins team up quite a lot now. But they're really just taking it out on each other in this one. It's been a historic rivalry between the two. We know that. As now Rollins. Hang on. Look out. Pedigree. Ziggler's done. Ziggler is done. Rollins. He's going to win the title. To become a three-time world champion. But S Styles is there. Rollins wasted too much time. Now Owens wants it. Styles will break it up again. Suplex now by Rollins to Styles. And now Seth Rollins going up top. What has he got planned here? Look out, AJ. Rollins went for the frog splash. Styles out of the way, though. Ziggler's outside the ring. Styles. Pele kick. But hang on. Owens stopping Styles in an instant. And now Kevin Owens. He's going to line up AJ Styles. Owens wanted the pop up powerbomb. Styles countering though. And Owens is out of there. Styles wondering well, who did he go for. He's going to keep going for Seth Rollins now. Hit that Pele kick before. Did the job. And now Styles is heading out. And uh oh, I think he might be setting him up here. With that phenomenal forearm, he wants it. AJ Styles, here he comes, connecting. Perhaps he's knocked Rollins out cold. Phenomenal forearm. Now looking to put Ziggler away and end this once and for all. Styles clash. Styles clash. AJ's gonna win the title. No, Ziggler kicked out at two and keeps this one alive. Well, for sure, that was it. For sure, Styles wins the title. But Ziggler dug deep and kept this one going. Now, Ziggler and Styles to the outside. Meanwhile, pop-up powerbomb. 
Owens, all alone, Ziggler's coming, he won't get there. Owens steals the win. It was Styles' match to win there, but Ziggler kicked out, and Owens sneaks back in and puts Seth Rollins away with a pop-up powerbomb. And which will mean now, Owens perhaps will face his toughest challenge of them all. Goldberg awaits now the Universal Champion, Kevin Owens. What a contest, what a battle. Four of the best on Raw. They gave it their absolute all. You can't deny that. They all hit their best shots, all hoping to win that Universal title. But at the end of the night, Kevin Owens found a way to sneak through and survive. What a contest. What a win by the champ. Owen oh, still the Universal Champion, ladies and gentlemen. What a win here at Payback. Two from two here. Payback title defenses for Owens. Another massive win in the career of Kevin Owens. Well, ladies and gentlemen, from one massive title match to another, we have the tail of the tape between our main event, Brock Lesnar versus Finn Mella. Let's take a look. Brock Lesnar debuting in Season 1, Valor Season 3. Brock Lesnar, a one-time WWE Champion, a one-time Universal Champion. His longest championship reign was the WWE Championship for 32 weeks. Finn Balor, a one-time WWE Champion. His longest reign is currently 32 weeks. If he beats Lesnar tonight, he will become the longest reigning World Champion in one title reign in history. Some accolades. Lesnar, main event at WrestleMania Season 1. Balor, Season 3, main event at WrestleMania. And the Season 3 winner of the money in the bank. Well now it's time ladies and gentlemen for our main event. The Beast is here and Brock Lesnar is hunting one more title reign. He lost it at Wrestlemania. Tonight he won't get his chance at the man who took it from him in Kevin Owens. Instead he gets his hands on the man who now holds the prize. He's He's coming for, and that is the demon himself, Finn Balor. Paul Heyman, his advocate, alongside of him. These two have reunited once again. It's a partnership that, didn't, that did not exactly work out too well at WrestleMania. But Heyman vows to win the title back for his client, for his beast, for Brock Lesnar. Tonight... Finn Balor could become the longest reigning WWE Champion, breaking Lesnar's record. Will we see history be made? Eight months has been the length of Finn Balor's championship reign. Eight months was the length of Brock Lesnar's title reign. Two completely different title reigns, let's be honest. But the same amount of time. Tonight, we see Finn Balor trying to attempt to create history for himself and become the longest reigning champion in one title reign between, yes, both the World Championship, the Universal Championship, and the WWE Championship. The longest reigning world champion in one single single reign between both titles. Bella has the chance to break that record. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the demon arises when the big matches come. There is no bigger match tonight for Finn Bella and the demon has arrived. Finn Balor is ready for the fight of his life. A beast awaits him. But Balor, one thing we know is for sure, he will not give up. He will not bow down easily. And even though he's yet to face Lesnar in his career, we know that he can beat the best of the best. Lesnar could be added to that list. And Finn Balor could really cement his legacy as one of the great champions here in Universe Mode tonight. You know, there's been a bit of a, a black stamp, a black mark to Finn Balor's championship reign, perhaps even asterisk because of what he did with the club and how the club was able to help him survive a number of times. Now, though, Finn Balor heads into battle, looking to become the longest reigning champion. Ben Balor, first time he defends the championship on pay-per-view for SmackDown. He defended it two weeks ago against Roman Reigns. 
Bit of controversy in that match, of course, with Sami Zayn getting involved. We now know that Sami Zayn will meet the winner of this match down the line, perhaps even at Extreme Rules for the WWE Championship. So Sami Zayn defeated Reigns. And we now know that this is a huge match for Finn Balor. Because arguably, if he gets through Brock Lesnar, I think he's pretty confident that he can beat Sami Zayn. You know, if he can beat Roman Reigns, I think he'd be quite confident that he can beat Sami Zayn. Even though we know Sami Zayn was good tonight. And that's not to underwrite him or underestimate him. But the credentials of Lesnar is far superior than a Sami Zayn right now. And Finn Balor will be looking to hold that championship for a full year. That's his goal. He's got a long way to go yet. But he could be well on his way if he can survive the beast tonight the winner takes on Zayn in the future but they have to get through this title match tonight the WWE Championship on the line it's your main event the final match of payback ladies and gentlemen Bella versus Lesnar let's get it on and the WWE Championship has never changed hands at payback two title matches two times it has been defended so that will give Finn Balor a bit of extra confidence and he'll know that well, whilst that stat doesn't really mean all that much realistically it's something that he can kind of just maybe hold on to a little bit just know that it can be done holding on to this title of payback can be done and it has been done both times it's been on the line Lesnar looking for an early head start here on Finn Balor the demon Gets a hold of Lesnar on the ground. Gonna drag him into a better spot, but back to his feet is Lesnar. Very quickly back to his feet, I should say. Lesnar shrugging off Finn Balor, though. Balor now getting Lesnar against the ropes, and here he comes with a standing drop kick, but Lesnar, he was able to get out of the way and avoid it. Finn Balor now, this time, can't avoid that, Lesnar. Sit out, Powerball. Balor will turn Lesnar over. Going to get Lesnar towards the middle of the ring. Finn Balor strikes down with an elbow onto Brock Lesnar. Well, Lesnar, two-time world champion. His first title reign, as we know, eight months. Second title reign had a few months to it as well. He's been very, very successful. He's had a great number of months. The last four months for Lesnar have been spectacular. He needs to keep the momentum going. He lost at WrestleMania. But he's been on a man on a mission. He's been really, you know, not taking no for an answer. He wants the champ. He wants him ASAP. Edge has made him wait till payback. So you know there's a lot of rage inside of Lesnar. Ready to be unleashed tonight. And Finn Balor could be on, could be on the receiving end of a number of suplexes tonight. Paul Heyman, though. Well, there's the, the Heyman influence early on. Getting in the way. Coming after Finn Balor. Distracting him. And that's what Heyman provides. Lesnar though, he just can't get a better, could get the better of Finn Balor. And this is quite similar against Sami Zayn on SmackDown. Sami Zayn was just all over Lesnar. And Lesnar in the end, he found a way to get the win, but was not the best win you'll ever see. Wasn't very emphatic at all. Now Balor off the top of the rope, connecting, kicking down Lesnar. And once again, Brock Lesnar with a slow start, receives a kick again by Balor. So Lesnar... His last few matches just showing that he's just a bit of a slow starter at the moment. Is he just lacking the energy? Or is Finn Balor just coming out of the blocks red hot, looking to make a big impact from the get-go? Steel chair involved there by Heyman. Not sure if that's exactly legal in this one. A DQ won't help Lesnar out at all. He's got the chair, though. And Heyman distracting the ref. Oh, come on. Oh, Finn Balor. Thank goodness he blocked the chair shot. Lesnar trying to use the steel chair whilst Heyman distracted the ref, and it almost worked. Lesnar had his arms slammed on the chair from Balor. Now the cover. Lex hooked. Almost a bit of revenge there. A bit of payback for Finn Balor quickly there. Lesnar didn't get caught cheating, but it nearly went against him. Balor now. Going to look to go over the top of the rope. Got a springboard here. Wants Lesnar to get up, though. What's Balor got in mind? Going to go for the springboard. And connects there again on Lesnar. 
the boots to the gut there of Lesnar, and he's down again. Well, Finn Balor, what a start to this one for him. Lesnar just can't get going. Balor is just on fire here. The demon has awoken, and he's unstoppable. Look out, Finn Balor springing off the ropes and again kicks Lesnar to the outside. Springboard drop kick and Lesnar is out. Out of the ring and outside, but Heyman gets him back up. I'm not sure that's a smartest idea by Heyman. He should have tried to distract Finn Balor and let his beast recover because he is struggling here. What a start here by Finn Balor. This is why he's the champ. He realizes the magnitude of this match. The situation is huge. He realizes if he's going to beat Lesnar, he's going to have to try and do it quickly. Finn Balor lining him up. Drives Lesnar into the corner. Are we about to see a quick upset here? Finn Balor. Oh, hang on. The referee having a chat to Heyman. I think he's trying to fix the turnbuckle padding as well. Meanwhile, Balor doesn't care. He's going to go for one more. Kudagra! Now, Heyman, you might want to come in, and he does. Heyman is just desperate here. Lesnar has, it's like he's asleep. He has not even got anything in it at all. It's been all Balor, and he nearly put Lesnar away in five minutes flat. Balor now, back to the top. This time, drops the elbow. This time, it connects again, and that may be enough to follow up the Kudagra. That could be enough to beat Lesnar here. Lesnar finally, finally some offense by the Beast. And he's he's jumping up and down. I'm not sure why. Nothing to be bragging about or be cocky about. He's getting his... He's just getting absolutely destroyed here by Bella. He's got to do something. Finally some offense. But this is a poor performance so far from Lesnar. If he's not careful, he's going to lose this one. Finn Balor has been so good so far. And Lesnar finally getting into, into his work here. Driving the, the knee into the kidneys of Balor a couple times. Lesnar, he's got to slow this match down. Finn Balor has been 100% right from the get-go. And he is finally changing gears. He's finally going down a gear. And Lesnar's got to go up one. He's got to just start the car. He's got to get the vehicle going. Is he warmed up now? Drops the power bomb there on Finn Balor. Lesnar's finally starting to show some signs of life. And now I don't mind it, Lesnar. If you're going to jump up and down, that's fair enough now. You've got your man in a bad way. You've come back in the matchup, and you've got the better of Finn Balor so far in this last couple minutes. Driving Balor down this Lesnar. And Finn Balor, all of a sudden, maybe he's just gone too hard too quick. Balor, though, countering. Avoids the gut wrench, and now... Hooks the arms, hits the suplex, and Heyman again. Well, Balor's bridged through, and he's wondering what's going on. But it's not going to be a win for Balor, because Heyman is trying his absolute best to save the day. Surely the referee's got to get rid of Heyman soon. I think the referee, I think the referee might be telling Heyman to get out. I think so. Heyman's been ejected. Yes, Heyman's gone. So Heyman's been the man who saved the day for Lesnar. And perhaps the only reason why he's still in the match. And he's gone. So Lesnar's all alone. Balor now drives Lesnar in the corner. Finn Balor. He's pretty happy now. He has a chance to put Lesnar away. Going up top. Another coup de grace could be it. He's going to go for it. Here comes Balor. Coup de grace, no. Lesnar stays in it. Lesnar, hang on! Going for the F5. Balor countering reverse DDT. Now Balor going again. Realizes he has another chance. Is he going to go for the coup de grace again? I think so. Here comes Finn Balor. Coup de grace! Balor got it this time. Balor to retain the title. Become the longest reigning champion. No, Lesnar kicks at it too. Les Lesnar stays in it. And Balor cannot believe it. He thought he had his man. Balor now over the top of the rope, landing on Lesnar. You can see Finn Balor just slowing a little bit. But he realizes he's got Lesnar on the ropes. He's going to try and push him off those ropes here and beat him here for the 1 2 3. He's come close. There's no Heyman to distract. 
And that counter of the F5 was huge. Lesnar hits the F5. That could have been the match right there. Lesnar's going to try and find the F5 again. He's going to try and hang in there. He's been able to kick out of the coup de grace. But how much has he got left? It was a tough opening exchange here for Lesnar. A poor performance in the first five or so minutes. And those five minutes could cost Lesnar this match. I'm not sure if he can get himself back into it. And F5 will help. Some German suplexes will help. I'm not even sure if Suplex City has even opened up tonight. It's been pretty quiet. The lights are off. I think we're in a blackout at Suplex City. Because we haven't seen that many at all. There's the gut wrench suplex though. So maybe Lesnar. Starting to turn the generator on. Starting to get things going. Shaking off the cobwebs a little bit. But is it too little too late? Can Lesnar get himself going? Trying to choke out Finn Balor here. Slow the pace down. Catch his breath. Balado. Knees to the face of Lesnar. Lesnar. Oh. Gets countered there by Balor. Went for the Bulldog. Balor now. Tried to pick Lesnar up, but gets met with a DDT instead. Balor is down. Now Lesnar. Drags Balor towards the middle of the ring. Could be it here for Balor. Kicks out a two, though. Well, Lesnar, this is his chance. I think this is really make or break. He's got to try and find something big here. This could be the moment that changes everything for Brock Lesnar and Finn Balor. One man will be the champion at the end of the night. One will be the longest reigning champion or the other starting up his third world title reign. Which one will it be? Lesnar hoping to start his third title reign as he's got the cover down. Shoulders down. A late count at two. Finn Balor still in this matchup. Heads collide. And Balor launching himself at Lesnar. Takes the big man down. And Finn Balor, wait a second. Taking the turnbuckle padding off. Not sure about that idea. Oh, he's going to pay the price. Lesnar reversed it and drove Balor into the turnbuckle pad. The exposed turnbuckle, rather. And Lesnar, that could be a big moment for him. Balor, though, going to drive Lesnar. Yes! Balor drives Lesnar into the corner. Lesnar's down. Trouble here for Brock. Finn Balor. Uh-oh, going for 19, 16, Finn Balor does not hang on to the cover, instead he goes for it now, he's wasted a couple seconds, are we going to see the record broken, no, Lesnar kicked out at two, wow, it's close, Finn Balor, he is just distraught, he can't believe it, Lesnar into the exposed turnbuckle, 19, 16 from Balor, he thought he had his man, Lesnar rolls back up to his feet. Going for the gut wrench and again connects. Lesnar's going to bring something now. He's going to do something because this is going to be over quickly. He's on his last chance here, Lesnar. And now Balor's got Lesnar down. And he's going to go for it. He feels as this is a chance. It's all or nothing for Finn Balor. Here he goes. Yes, he's got it. Coup de gras. Finn Balor connects. Balor retains the title and is the official longest reigning WWE Champion and World Champion in Universe Mode history. What a win by Balor. We question him. Was he able to come to SmackDown and beat the elite stars on SmackDown? Well, tonight he's proved that the answer is yes, he can. Yes, Balor is good enough. And yes, Balor is the longest reigning champion in Universe Mode history for the World Championships. Whether it be the Universal or the WWE, Balor is the best. What a win tonight by Finn. And ladies and gentlemen, we will leave it at that. What a win for Balor. What a show. And if you did enjoy it and you watched the entire show, please let me know in the comments below by putting down the word payback. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you just find, haven't already, do subscribe. And also, leave a like. Let's go for a big goal. Can we hit 500? You know what? Let's go for 501. 
not 500, just 501. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this episode, smash the like button, subscribe to see more. Check out the website for more because there's going to be some salary cap announcements coming up. So check that out. The rosters are updated as well. Slammy Awards are coming in the next few days as well. Keep an eye out for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this pay-per-view. My name is Brendan Place. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.